All right, we are at Tachanka, the land of the Krogans. Uh, and, oh, Rex was here, oh my God. We reunited with Rex. He's like the lead Krogan here. Um, and we were like besties, you know, like, like zero time had passed. Um, but we are here because we're doing the loyalty missions for Grunt and Morden, and we wrapped up Grunt's loyalty mission last stream, and now we have to do Morden's. And let's see what it wants us to do. Talk to the Erdnot Scout commander to find out where the Blood Pack took Morden's student. Okay, we're looking for Morden's student, right? Erdnot Scout commander. I don't know who that is, We'll just figure this out. Not the shaman. We hate the shaman. The threshold. I may be young, but I relay the wishes of the females. That's important. Don't crowd the ambassador. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. I am Erdnot Grunt. This human is part of my Krant. Erdnot allows humans in a candidate's Krant. Interesting. I am the ambassador to Erdnoth from Clan Nakhmor. We're a small clan based in Akratic Wastes. How does your clan survive? What does your clan want here? Why be an ambassador? <clears throat> the theories of this are really based on equals MC squared. Energy can essentially be converted to mass and vice versa. Mm-hmm. I'm a chunk of... <laughs> Physics and chem were your best too, but it's been years, right? Yeah, I didn't, um, I didn't take, I think I took like one science class and I don't even remember what it was about in college, but I didn't take science classes in college because I didn't have to for my major. So like, I really only took science classes in high school. Demon Hands and you both have physics degrees? That's where we met. That's adorable. That's awesome, Waffle. I, do, do either of you do stuff with physics? I feel like you don't, but I might not. I might not have the full info. But that's really cool. Physics, physics is so cool to me. You will never be good at math. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's, it's kind of weird because, like, I always wonder... Was I born, like, inherently able to pick up math quickly? Or is it because, like, my mom started teaching me math before I even started kindergarten, right? So I, like, had a leg up or something. I never know. Because I feel like some people are just, like, not good at math. Like, I'm just not good at history. And I feel like people are like that with math, too, you know? Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Hi, sweet. People arriving just in time. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I really, really appreciate it. You're not late at all. Hello, hello. We literally just got into the game. And before I made any meaningful progress, I got lost talking to chat again. Sorry, I just, I really like the conversations we're having today. Uh, Miguel is a person who wrote a paper proving that generating a warp field from Star Trek is possible. While that works in a different way, generating an artificial field around the ship is the same general idea. I like how, like, for space, there's a lot of, um, like, theories and concepts that are realistic and could actually work, but, like, you would never see in, like, this lifetime, you know? Those evil red eyes and scars are really bringing out your psychotic renegade tendencies. I'm glad. I want someone to be able to just look at me and be like, yep, don't, don't do anything to get on her bad side. So I want to keep the scars and the glowing red eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Need more chemistry for nutrition? Yeah, I bet. You took physics in college, but it was very applied, and that was also years ago. You ace physics, but had an overall 80% in high school chemistry. Yeah, the different sciences, they, they're, they're all very, very different from each other, you know? You used to tutor physics a lot. Math better than physics, better than history. I don't know why I could just, I was not good at history. Not good at all. You went more to the engineering side, even hands. Oh, software engineer, cool. You two little engineers. You think it's both because if you're really logical and can follow procedures well, you're going to be good at math. But starting before kindergarten definitely probably helps. I think so. I think so. Yeah. When they see Choose Shepherd. Red eyes after a long night. All right. How does your clan survive? If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral. 
who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. Hey, what does your clan want here? What business does Clan Knockmore have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Knockmore have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka. And we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. Why be an ambassador? I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. Okay, bye. I should go. <laughs> I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Maybe I need to talk to Rex. You I don't know. You hear that a tank bred in the human killed the Thresher Maw? Everybody's heard. As if it does with Rex himself. Oh yeah, they're all very impressed that we took down the Thresher Maw, because apparently it, it's been a long time since someone has done that. You just can't help making trouble. No one has killed a Maw since my turn in the right. Next you'll tell me he's a Clint and craps dark matter. Guess that's what it takes to replace me. <laughs> so anime. You are Erdnot Grunt. Aww. Welcome. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter okay. running target practice. That's who we need to go talk to. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch <clears throat> on the other clans. He used tutors for both uh, chemistry and anatomy we'll classes. Another time. Calc two and stats. You never studied a lot of science outside of school, but you did write a set of rules for a sci-fi role-play dice game years ago. Had things to do with space travel and energy-based weaponry. It was a great deal of fun working things out and rewrite, uh, researching different takes on the things themselves. That does sound really cool. Sounds very fascinating. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viola. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Erdnot will make it better. My line will fix it. This is Pit Fight Gambling Station. <laughs> what? This is giving me ideas. Should we have a Pit Fight Gambling Station? I feel like this, this would fit seamlessly into the channel's theme. Uh, if that's impressive, they should have seen how many Thrashers you killed last game, right? Put All right. Down some real money, human. Oh. Gambling Terminal. White, Blue, Hope, Red, Brown, Thunder. Oh, man. Okay, who should we bet on? White, Blue, or Red, Brown? Which one? Who do we think is going to win? <laughs> oh, God, this is, this is not good. Don't take me to Vegas. Don't do it. Red? White? Red? White? Oh my god, you guys are torn. <laughs> oh no. I would honestly, I would pick the white one. I think the white one looks cooler, but the red one looks terrifying. So the red one's probably going to win. Uh, okay, y'all are heist and busy. I see, I see. Hi, Chom. People are at crime. <laughs> Hello. Chom, which one, which one should we pick? Which one's going to win the fight? The white one or the red one? Who do we think is going to win? <laughs> White dragon, blue eyes. It, is, it does have blue eyes. It's true. I don't know. Red? We're like tied. We're tied between white and red. All right, let's just... It's probably like 50-50 chance here, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with my gut and go with white. And white is probably going to lose. Red one, it has battle scars, so it knows combat? Maybe the white one does too and you just can't see them. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. We're going to go red, okay? If we lose, it's on you, Chad. <laughs> Look at the white one. It's terrifying. KO'd! Oh my god! <laughs> oh 
Okay. That was terrifying. Oh god. Red one. Red one. Easy. One hit KO. Oh god. Red has experience scars. I can't believe you guys noticed that. Been beat up and it's old and sad. I said white. I thought white for sure too. You rigged it for red? <laughs> that was too easy. Rolled and smoked for real. Okay, clearly I'm not good at gambling. Yep. Oh, what are you making over here? Watch it, human. Oh, okay. Never mind. Jeez. <gasps> so rigged. Chat definitely rigged the heist. Rigged the fight and the heist. Oh, right, let that ahead. go. Okay. Oh, that's... It's those doggos that we're fighting, I see. Here's what we're looking for. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. Help me find a Solarian. Tell me about yourself. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. Oh, we got this easy. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher secondary organs don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. <laughs> if I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. I'm taking the truck. <clears throat> For the results of the duel, I must admit to rigging the heist and accept my punishment. Yep. <laughs> uh, you think Chum made that up? Too many organs. Yep. Tertiary testicles. No. No more than that. All right, we got to bring Morden because this is Morden's loyalty quest. I feel like I should bring Grunt since we're in the land of the Krogan. Yeah, let's bring Grunt. Okay. Oh, I forgot to look through the new outfits, too. Gosh darn it. I got four points. I can level something up. I kind of want to do incinerate. Incinerate's fun. Uh, heavy incinerate. This advanced plasma blast burns through nearly anything it hits. And incineration blast. Splash zone on the plasma blast is increased. I do like the blast zone ones, splash zone ones more. Uh, your entire squad gains the cryo ammo's effects, letting you incapacitate large groups or relentlessly hammer one target. Apex of cryogenic rounds. The ammunition freezes targets more frequently for a longer duration. Dude, this is cool because the ammo one will give you the ammo for all of your squad mates. Okay, let's do that. So, squad. Okay. I didn't mean to exit out of the leveling up screen. Twisty quads reporting for duty. Perfect amount of organs, TBH. Don't they have like five? I don't know. You guys are the Krogan Nard experts, not me. 
Heyman's rocking rookie number is gonna have to get those numbers up. No. What would you do with that many testicles, though? The next cosmetic surgery fad is gonna be Nard implant. Stop. Squad ammos are game changers, in your opinion? It sounds like it's really good. I gotta see it in action. All right, we're gonna stick with our. Oh yeah, we got a new sniper rifle too. It's an upgrade. Uh, SMG. Okay, we'll stick with the particle beam as well. Uh, we try out a different one. Let's try out a different shotgun for grunt. And you're good there. Okay. I'm getting in a truck. We haven't been in a truck since Mass Effect 1. There is no Mako. They put us in a flying thing, though. And that was pretty fun. This is looking like Mako times, though. They have four? Use one as a spare tire. No. <laughs> Sorry, Nick Cannon has so many kids. Stop. Out of control theories. Hello, Doctor. I would like all the nards you have. I know you just heard me say a lot of nards. I want to be clear. I want all of the nards you have. I am sure someone in the history of mankind has gone to a doctor requesting that very thing. Okay, I'm certain of it. The me parents, Bobby, could you please wish me happy birthday? It's been a really rough day. Happy birthday, tree hugger. Is your birthday today? I'm sorry you're having a rough day, though. On your birthday of all days. Oh, I'm so sorry, tree hugger. But I hope you're having a wonderful birthday. And I hope that it gets better for you. I'm so sorry you're having a bad day. Your life has not been as good since, as it was since you learned about Krogan balls. <laughs> oh... I wish there was knowledge out there that would do the opposite, you know? Like, my life's been infinitely better since I learned about... I mean, obviously not Krogan balls, but something. <laughs> oh my god, Grunt. Grunt, you made me shoot you! All right, this way. <clears throat> Instead of days of the week undies, you'd have days of the week nards. <laughs> no, what? That makes no sense because that means you'd be changing out your nards on a daily basis. Why would you do that? But the rough birthdays yourself, we're here for you, tree hugger. Oh, it's really nice, Velocis. Got your ear to stop bleeding. Oh no, ear bleeding sounds scary. I hope everything's okay. Oh, you need some fire. Oof, oof, oof. That's a doggo. Okay. Okay. Besties, where down. are you? Um, besties? What, what are you doing back here, besties? Now you're dead. Oh my god. Of course. Honest. Dude, did you see my besties just hiding back here? What are they doing? Like saving a ton of money on your car insurance. <laughs> I, okay. I, I feel like complaining about car insurance because I just had to pay mine. But man, I have not gotten to any accidents. And my insurance just keeps going up. It's a scam. Oh, they're shooting bombs. Okay. Yikes. Spares? Listen, I, I don't understand how testicles work fully, but I'm pretty sure that they're not spares. <laughs> Are you not running directly into the line of fire, besties? They were just hiding. You just change your insurance company. Maybe that's what I need to do. Because it's just going to keep going up, I think. <laughs> Oh, I just shot him in the nards. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not a Krogan, so no spares. Too late. Now you're dead. Who are you yelling at? <gasps> That's oh, blood pack warrior. Here we go. 
Dang! Annihilated. Oh, I went the wrong way. <clears throat> You're in the shower. What mission are you doing? We are doing a Morden's loyalty quest. I hear a doggo. I don't like. Oh, no. Another one. Um. Ooh, another one. Get him. Get him. What is this? Concussive blast. Do it. Yup. Okay. Not a lot of ammo here. Usually there's just ammo everywhere, but not a lot of ammo here. I am Krogan! Grunt, why are you yelling? Uh oh. Thanks! Taking in all the positivity. I hope so, Tree Hugger. I really do hope you feel better soon. It's going up for everyone. Cost of cars is a factor. My car is like. I don't even know how old my car is, though. It's very old, though. <laughs> very, very old. And I've been wanting to get a new car because my car is so old, but now I'm like, man, it's going to be so expensive to not only deal with car payments, but insurance, property tax. Oh. It's a nightmare. You bundle your home now. in auto. <laughs> you bundle your nard stuff. <laughs> oh no, I'm running low on ammo. It's gonna blow. What's gonna blow? Do you have bombs on his back? I am. Oh my God, Grunt, please. <laughs> Please stop yelling. And our ammo. Oh my god. Okay. Too late. Now. Nice. Good job, besties. Oh. Someone froze them. Good job, besties. Nothing can hurt me. Oh, I see arm or I see Emma over there. Grunt, this is all Wendy's. <laughs> For people who are trying to save on your phone bill, if you own your phone, Mint Mobile is like 300 a year and uses T-Mobile towers. Good to know. Good to know. Your car's 24 years old, older than some people. Is it still running well? Yeah, that is old. Choose cars old enough to drive its own car at this point. I mean, I love my car and like, I feel like cars nowadays, new cars nowadays, they have so many bells and whistles and I don't understand how any of them work. Can you imagine my confusion when uh, renting cars for work? I'm like, I don't understand how to activate anything. The headlights, the stereo, nothing. In my car, it's all like standard, you know, how cars used to be, but new cars nowadays have so many new features and I have no clue where anything is. He is Krogan, we didn't know, we weren't sure. <laughs> Flamethrower pack blue, oh, okay. Your car still has the cassette tape slot? Do newer cars, no. Newer cars don't even have a CD slot, Tree Hugger. My car still has like a CD player, but I think new cars don't have that. Uh, one shot every time he shouts, I am broken. <laughs> it's a shame you like playing your cassettes. Uh, car is almost old enough to rent a car, yep. You need to learn how to drive so you do not need to rely on rides anymore. Hi Cal, how are you doing? Good to see you. You have a 2009 Chevy Equinox, my goodness. A lot of us need new cars, it seems. <laughs> You've abandoned your phone, invested in uh, carrier pigeons, two out of ten. You love your basic car. I like my basic car, too, yeah. I mean, I, it would be nice not to worry about, like, my car potentially breaking down as I'm driving. Hi, Chicken Parm. Good to see you, too. Hello. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a good weekend. 
This car combos the boomers chooses. I was, I know, I know. There are there are conversations that will make me sound like an absolute boomer, and this is one of them. <laughs> First about complaining about the car insurance and now about new car gadgets. I can't do it. Give me my buttons. The cars with no buttons and just a touch screen in the middle are becoming way too common. That's like all they have now, sweet. That's like the new normal for cars. I I can't figure out how to like adjust um, the temperature in the car to my liking. Cause now it's like you set it to a temperature. Whereas before it was like you have one knob for like the fan intensity and then another knob to control like hot or cold. Now it's like you set it to a temperature, but like it's also based on what the current temperature is in the car. So even if you're cold, but the inside of the car is like kind of warm, it's just blasting cold air at you. <laughs> I sound so angry and old. Hi, Harmless, how are you doing? You had a 2007 PT that served you unfaithfully. <laughs> Your Equinox has heated seats, what? Dude, your Equinox is ahead of its time. 2004 Jeep Liberty, she's still running great. Runs great, you have to lower your car windows manually. You do not have a window roller, Malice, there's no way. Okay, that is a sign you need a new car. <laughs> All right, Mr. Incredible with the VIP gamble. Going with 666, oh, good luck. 984, so close, so close, but unlucky. Phone bills, insurance, and snazzy cars. We're full on boomer. I know, I know. <laughs> you love the temperature thing though? I hate it. I hate it. I can never get it to blow out air at the temperature that I want it to, you know? Because I don't know what the proper temperature to set it at. I just want to, I want to tell it either hot or cold air and then the intensity of the air. That's all. Boomer stream bug. <laughs> like one of those cyberpunk retro cars with all the old stuff in them. One feature you like is lane assist because the car will correct itself automatically. Okay, I do I do kind of agree with that, although the tech kind of still like is jarring to me, but I don't like when it beeps at you, you know? Like when you're drifting a little bit, it starts beeping at you like, get back in the lane! <laughs> in my grumpy dad arc, I really am. I also hear people complain all the time about this one feature in new cars where the car will essentially like partially shut down its engine when you are stopped at a red light to like conserve fuel or energy or whatever it's doing. I don't know. I've not heard a single person say, I love this feature, but I've heard so many people complain about that feature, okay? My car does not have that, thankfully. <laughs> uh, Choose new car will be a 1999 diesel drug. <laughs> <laughs> Manual and roll open. I don't know how to drive sticks, so no. And I don't. I do like the the auto windows. I don't like the 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 rolling window thing. Mm -mm. But I don't want like. I just want like it's the temperature controls. Okay, that's really the only thing that really bothers me. Get off my lawn. <laughs> No beat. It don't beep at me. Thoughts on rocking chairs? I love rocking chairs. I do. Uh, my mom said that when I was little. So me and my sibling were born like very, very close together. So we were bo both like little babbies growing up. Uh, and it's hard to handle multiple young babbies, young babby children, <laughs> right? So my mom said that when she used to be like taking care of my sibling and I was on my own, I would just sit there and like rock myself like this, kind of like as a way to self-soothe. <laughs> So I love rocking chairs. It's, it's, the feeling is like really nice to me. Just that rocking feeling. <laughs> it's, it's so random, I know. Partially shut down how? Like the engine shuts down. You can hear it like power down. You can turn it off, yes. But I think you have to like turn it off every single time you start up your car. Yours does that, but it turned, you turn it off as soon as you, so can, is there a way to like permanently turn it off? We don't like about new cars is the key fobs that no longer need to, <gasps> what, no! I, I like the not having to put the key in the ignition because um, in like one of the first cars I ever drove, the key almost like got stuck in there and I panicked. I was like, I don't know how to get the key out. I like not having to do that anymore. Your shuts off at lights, but you have to turn it off every time. That's what I'm saying, Wishka. Yeah, I thought it was you have to like turn it off every single time. Young baby children, <laughs> infants was the word. You need to see a doctor about that. It's time for you to embrace the electric car hype choose. It, it's just get a taste. I don't think I could go full electric. I think I would maybe consider hybrid, but I don't think I could go full electric. 
Your car constantly thinks you're gonna crash into park cars on bendy roads. <laughs> Old cars, new cars, as long as you have those plushy dice hanging from your rear mirror, it's all good. Also, especially happens when you sit up straight while riding. Do cars not use keys anymore? I think some of them do. Um, I was in my dad's car somewhat recently and his still has the key and ignition thing and i'm pretty sure he has a newer model car than i do i have like a push start ignition but i think most cars nowadays are push start there are keys hidden in the fob yes but they're basically worthless yeah the key is for like i don't know maybe like your glove compartment to lock or something but yeah they're they're not really use used for anything or i guess maybe if you're door has a key slot as well <clears throat> been a lot of thefts because of it that's crazy yeah that would be scary if if there was a way that they could steal your car more easily if you have i don't know the with just the fob um you've never driven an automatic car so you only drive manual cars level eight what <laughs> I feel like it'd be useful to learn how to drive a manual car, but nowadays, like, they don't even really make them anymore, right? You need the support for electric cars to get better first. Yes, people were saying when you got to, when, when it got too cold and their batteries wouldn't charge. Yeah, it's just not, like, the infrastructure's not reliable enough right now. Um, like, I have friends who have electric cars, and... I think for the most part, if you're just casually driving, it's fine. But if you take your car on like long trips, it gets difficult because you don't know where you're going to find a charging station and the car can only go like a certain number of miles before you have to charge it, right? And long trips, it's not really conducive for that. Uh, key is op to open the door for, oh, if the battery dies. My battery has died many times, but the the lock unlock the door lock still works even if the battery's dead i don't know i don't know how he just scratched someone else's car just in case so you ran in a car a couple months back it actually wouldn't let you lock the door if you couldn't locate the remote interesting oh that was the thing with my rental car so like i i was uh on the car fob, I pressed the lock button like many times just to make sure, okay, that the door was locked. And then I would, I always like pull the handle to check to make sure it's locked. Every time I pulled the handle, it opened. So I think there was some tech that detected the fob and if the fob was close enough, it would just automatically unlock. I think that's what was happening. Cause I pressed the lock button like 17 times and then tested it and it's still, it still opened. <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand this. How do I make sure it's locked? You're a human with a manual car. In Argentina, most of the population drives manual. Only people with high incomes have automatic. Wow. You've never driven an automatic in Scotland? It's... Wow. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm <laughs> speaking out of line. In the States, I think it's common for most people to drive automatic. But I guess in other parts of the world, yes, there's still a lot of manual vehicles. Um, hi, MK. How are you doing? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. They make manual, but it's either a dual clutch with paddle shifters, which is more forgiving than the regular manual. No clue. <laughs> UK chat's keeping the manual car market afloat. Driving your brother's double clutch is crazy. We'll stick to the single. Thank you. Next car you get will be manual. They are cheaper. They are cheaper. Yeah, but I don't know what, it, what it's like in Canada, Timber Ghost, but I know in the States, it's hard to find manual cars now, so it's like kind of more expensive for that reason. Choose cars, easy steal. Apparently, the future is going to be cars that run on solar power or water. And I cannot wait. I mean, I'm all for more clean energy, right? I'm all, I'm more, I'm all for more fuel efficient and cleaner ways of powering cars. But the infrastructure needs to be there, right? Solar, solar powered, I think, wouldn't be concerning. But right now, where you need to find charging stations that like fit your, because like different cars also take different kinds of charges. So finding like enough locations where you can charge your car is like kind of a struggle. My friends are literally the people who are like, whenever you have a conversation with them, they're the, the thought that's at the forefront of their head is where can I find a charger for my car? And I don't want to be that person who's like constantly concerned about, am I going to be able to find a place to charge my car? You know, I, I have enough anxiety in my life. I don't need that as well. Your car locks the doors as you walk away and unlocks when you're near. Yeah, that is new to me for sure. 
manuals are not as cheap as you think, especially if there's a learning curve problem. You can destroy several clutches on your way to... Well, yeah, that, that's if you're, like, not... If you don't understand how to use one, right? You give them back the key fob and try to lock the vehicle without it, and it wouldn't let you. <laughs> you remember taking car lessons in an automatic and thinking, yeah, I'll never drive a manual? But to this day, every car you've owned has been manual. Wow. I mean, automatically, automatic definitely takes out a lot of the effort, right? Manual is just... It's, so much is involved. You hit the lock button and nothing was happening. In the UK, if you sit your test in a manual, you can drive both manual and auto, which makes sense, yeah. If you sit in an auto, you aren't allowed. Yeah, that, that makes total sense, right? Manual has a lot more parts to it, and then automatic, automatic, I keep wanting to say automatically. Automatic just takes out all those extra parts, all those extra steps. Limited number of mechanics. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, too, who are trained in manual, yeah. Barely any car chargers in your area. Exactly, exactly. You don't have portable reloading chargers you can keep at home. You can have a charger at home, but like if you're going on a trip in your car, like a long distance trip, then you have to worry about uh, charging. And I guess if you're just like out running errands, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. One company in Europe created a solar car, which is an electric car with solar panels. In testing, it got 42 miles on solar only and over 400 on a regular charge. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Build everything closer and walk everywhere. We did that for 90% of human history. Why did we stop, right? Learn how to drive a manual. Very nice, Cal. Seems like such a hassle. To me, it does, yeah. But I know a lot of people who really enjoy driving manual. Not that much of a hassle. Kind of like second nature once you know how to use a manual. Your car has both dual transmission. You're buying an electric nest here and they told you uh, most come with a charge port that you can take with you. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You drove your mate's automatic and was like, what do I do with my left foot with no clutch of <laughs> Problem with the chargers at home is they're not designed to work for you on the go. They're very slow at charging. That makes sense too. Yeah, I bet the charging stations are like super fast powered charging, right? All right. Sorry, lots of good conversation topics today. <laughs> You learned on a US 5 speed and thought you knew how to drive, then you sat in a sob and you were like, what? Repurposed Krogan Hospital. Sturdy. Built to withstand punishment. Uh-oh. Dead human body? That body. Human. Need to take a look. Sores. Tumors. Ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles. Track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. Any clue to identification? Are we in any danger? Why would they use humans? I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was. No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. Using humans is wrong! I'm stopping this. Let's get Malin. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Uh -oh. Never used humans myself. Disgusting, unethical, sloppy, used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. Did you use Krogan subjects? I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Varan. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. Wouldn't something native to Tachanka work better? Varen, maybe? Yes. Human experiments strictly high-level, concept testing. Native Tuchanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful <laughs> bite. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. Clever? That sounds bad. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels. Could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. 
can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Come on, we still need to find Malin. Back to Agreed. Frogger. There's no Frogger in Mass Effect 2. Which I think honestly is a good thing at this point. <laughs> Charge ports are a joke, oh no. Only good if you want to use them to charge overnight. You learned to drive manual because your dad didn't let any of us drive an automatic until we could drive the manual in case we needed to. And let me tell you, that day is yet to happen. If you ever go on the amazing race, you'll be all set, Anne Rose. Uh, this way. Be crutching to depend on stationary chargers. Is the purpose of chargers you can take with you? How come my friends never take their portable charger with them then? Usually, charge stations can get the battery to 80% in about 30 minutes. The secret their good old carbon base feels like a good boy. <laughs> Getting to 100% takes a long time, so long trips really do require more planning. Yeah. You'd love to go full electric, but I need the charging stations as numerous as gas stations. I agree. I agree. I, f I fully support that. Hi, dude, man. How are you doing? Good to see you. I do, um,. I do wish, this is like kind of related, but not really. Um, I wish I knew how to change a car tire. I don't even know if I'd be able to lift a car tire, but I think it would be a good idea to know how to change a car tire. There was one point where I had a tire of mine slashed and um, I had to call my cousins to come out and help me change the tire. And they were like trying to teach me in the process, but I was too like panicked to let it sink in and understand what was happening. So I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I do have a jack. I think all cars come with a jack, right? Um, I didn't know where it was though. And so that was part of the adventure was trying to figure out where the jack was and then um, how to crank it, what order to take the bolts off in. There was so much to it. Portable charges are very slow. Off a normal plug would take 12 hours to charge a car. That is a long time. Yeah. Doing all right? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, happy Sunday. You want those cars like from the Flintstones where you just push with your feet? <laughs> Takes like five minutes. You can do it no problem. I don't know. I don't know if I remember how. I remember like lying down on the, f the ground and having to like feel for the car frame so you know where to put the jack. But I don't know if I remember how to do that or like what I'm looking for. Easier than you think in a non-panic state, you'd catch on quick. I don't know. I don't trust me. <laughs> Remember how I said I'm not good at history? I don't think I'm good at changing tires either. <laughs> I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, uh -oh. Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. You're letting us go, why? Look what I've done so far. If I flee, I might trip over the dozen Krogan I killed <laughs> to get here. I think I'll take my chances. You killed our youngest and weakest human. They were not worthy of remaining near our glorious work. Inside, you will find only hardened, blood-packed veterans, tempered by savagery and war and dedicated to one goal. The Salarian will cure the Genophage, and Clan Werelock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood. Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunately. Uh-oh. No one has to die or give us Malin. Uh, Zodak, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Can you change a guard dire? Most important part is jacking it up on the right part. Yeah. Car jacks for emergency use. Usually most buyers have a charging station installed that uses higher voltage like an electric dryer uses. Uh, consult your owner's manual. <laughs> You're great at I'm really good at calling AAA too, Timber Ghost. Yep, really great. <laughs> Definitely panicked when you got your first flat, but you were also in the emergency lane on a highway in the dark. Okay, yeah, I was I was uh, at my apartment complex. Yeah, I was living in not the most safe place, and someone or someone's ran through and slashed a bunch of people's car tires, and I was unfortunately one of them. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, watch a YouTube video, right? It's probably a good thing to do. If you care about the future of Clan Werelock, you'll hand over Malin. Now. 
When we cure the genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan rebellions will be. You talk too much. See? Oh, the human dear. cannot hit a simple target. Oh no. Oh god! Freud! Freud! I am Krogan! Oh no, Grunt, not now. Not now, Grunt. Oh my god, he's just not even using the... He's not even using the barrier. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Duck, please. Oh my god. Who is shooting from here? Um... <laughs> what are these sounds? Oh my god, that was a mess! That was an absolute mess! I was not prepared for any of this. Yep, med station. Yikes! I fried him! Oh my god! It was so sad. Ruthless. I didn't mean to. I didn't know this was gonna happen. I'm Krogan. Grun, we have eyes. We literally know. He's proud, okay? He's loud and proud. In time my mom or sister has car problems, they call my dad who then calls me to go help. It's nice of you, Mighty Mar. Fried Krogan on the menu, no. Kentucky Fried Krogan, oh no. <laughs> Fighters drop, because the cover isn't great. Yeah, I couldn't like, at first I couldn't uh, get a Lab good shot on them. There. Can smell antiseptic, hint of dead flesh. Just get us there. And then when I figured out where they were coming from, it was like too late, they were blasting me. Oh, oops. My bad. Renegade interrupt, what do you think would happen? <laughs> Whoops. Textbook. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tar. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good weekend. We are quite a bit into Mass Effect 2, and I am really, really enjoying it. All right. Computer terminal. Lots of refined iridium here. Active console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences. Hormone mutagens still steady. Protein chains, live tissue, clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment factors. Avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Morton. Not developing, modifying. Much more difficult, working within confines of existing genophage a hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable, could cause total sterility, malignant tumors, could even reduce effectiveness, worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable, one in 1,000. Perfect target, optimal growth. Like gardening. You're a heartless killer! You were keeping it level. Because <clears throat> we're having Krogan steak for dinner. <laughs> you would try Krogan, probably tastes like chicken. You're saying you were working just as hard to keep their population from falling? Yes could have eradicated Krogan. Not difficult. Increased mutation to degrade genetic structure further. Chose not to. Rachni extinction tragic. Didn't want to repeat. All life precious. Universe demands diversity. What was it like working on the genophage modification project? Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, Let passion, him cook. galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us. Got anything we wanted. So close to your team, you've gone down, you've gone down in the world. Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No. All changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. Mm -hmm. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morden? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact.
Krogan choices, refuse truce during Krogan rebellions, expand after Rachni wars, splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus, damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. It's still your fault? You're open to Krogan peace? <clears throat> Probably tastes like chicken, exactly. <laughs> Fried Krogan tentacles, probably super tasty. I had to change the starter in the parking lot too once. Oh man, your father and I did a serpentine belt on the side of the road once, do not recommend. I didn't even know that was a thing until I took my car to uh, the dealer, the shop once, and they were like, you need a serpentine belt replacement. And I was like, I feel like you made that up. <laughs> no clue, never heard of it. Total sterility. Doing great, you started seeing someone and it's going quite well. Nice! Very hopeful about this one. Very nice, Tar. Happy for you. I think Krogan's probably pretty tough. Yeah, like rubbery, tough, probably. Don't understand half the stuff Morden says, but I love him so much. I love Morden. I love him. Definitely one of my favorite characters in Mass Effect 2. Um, I go, yes, Morden, whatever you say, you beautiful Solarian genius. I remember someone, when I was playing through Mass Effect 1, someone was like, the Solarian are the worst. Clearly, they haven't met Morden. Mm -hmm. Stuff on the outside, but maybe under the hard shell, it's like, all oh, like crab. Oh, love crab. Love crab. Boring. <laughs> Dora always does that, some sort of buggy. Oh, okay, the one that like opens and then immediately closes. I think if you like step too far backwards, but I'm like, what if there's a baddie on the other side? You know, gotta be careful. Mass Effect lore is so good. Tastes like chicken. I think the genophage is one of the best parts of the Mass Effect lore from a moral quandary standpoint. I like to accuse the mechanics of making things up. They love that. I didn't say that. I wasn't actually like, that sounds like you made it up. But like, I do feel like whenever I go to a car mechanic or like a car shop, they always try to just tell me I need like all this stuff fixed because I wouldn't know any better. It's true, I don't know any better. But that makes me question them. Like, really, can you explain to me why this needs to be fixed and what happens if I don't fix it and why it's gonna cost so much, you know? Uh, like, there, my car has this um, uh, squeaky problem when it breaks, or when I break, I guess. It has this loud squeak and they like, I don't know, they just said all this stuff about how I needed to repair or like replace all this uh, stuff on my brake pads and something on my tire. I don't know, but it costs a ridiculous amount. And I was like, I guess it's fine. I need it to stop squeaking. Two days later, the squeak came back and I was like, what? <laughs> I knew we shouldn't have listened to them. Mm -hmm. You haven't changed your retro two bone cabulator yet shoes i'd be like no <laughs> they try to extort you exactly squeaking you're gonna need a whole new car built from scratch <laughs> it's really bad you need to replace it a lot if you're getting squeaks oh i've done i've dropped so much money on trying to figure out the squeaking problem and they've replaced so many parts and the squeaking will not go away now they're just like oh it just happens but it's not a big deal like your car's fine <laughs> Break squeak, it's what they do, but it's squeaking. It is squeaking. Means your pads need replace. I replaced all the pads, Sylph. I replaced all of them, and then two days later, it started squeaking again. They tried charging you 100 for two filters in your car. I said, never mind. Did it myself for like out the break. Yeah, I have cousins who like do their own oil changes to save on that. And I'm like, nope, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Gotta pay someone to do it. Need a new mechanic? How dare they scam the chews? We ought to collect their head. No, no. I mean, I. I'm not surprised and I can't blame them and it's a problem that extends beyond just me. <laughs> so that's why I kind of like push back and I'm like, why though? You know, how bad is it really? I know it's just sci-fi guys, but didn't think we'd stoop as low as galactic cannibalism. Need a better mechanic? I took it to the dealer because I felt like of all the people I could trust the most, it would be the dealer. And nope, can't even do that. Never pay for filters ever. Oh, I've paid for so many filters. <laughs> Takes like two seconds. Your next door neighbor is a retired mechanic. He owns his own store, so when your Equinox had a bad uh, head gasket, he fixed it for 1200 instead of uh, 2500 That's amazing. That's really nice. The, yeah, the connections. <laughs> I think your car squeaks because it's old. That's why I squeak anyway. I, I squeak too, so that would explain it. I do is change my tires twice a year. Mechanic does the rest. Can't be bothered. These are the last car people to trust. 
I feel like I've been living a lot. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? Good to see you. Oh, thank you for lurking, friend. I hope you're having a good weekend. It's good to see you. The dealers who you trust the least. <laughs> I was doing it wrong the whole time. Never, ever, 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 ever trust a dealer with repairs. <laughs> God. Why did, where were you all when I was getting my car repaired at the dealer? They will, they will make you buy ODM parts that are overpriced. Yeah, I know this, Mighty Mar. I lived this. <laughs> they, they charged me an arm and a leg to replace all my brake pads. And I was like, uh, I guess I have to do this. All right. You're open to Krogan So if piece. the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that. Yes, United Krogan saved galaxy, destroyed Rachni. Genophage, not punishment, simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. Hmm. Okay, I think I went through all of those. We're not gonna find <laughs> Malin staring at consoles. Come on. Yep. <gasps> Dog with a VIP gamble, going with 14. Good luck. We have had a winner on 14, so good luck. 736. Oh, not quite. Still close, though. Very close. <laughs> but unlucky. Like to change filters, never pay someone to do it. It's so easy. I don't even, I've never even seen a car filter. Dealers are more expensive. Wait, actually, I think I have. Isn't it like round? I think I maybe have seen one. I think they showed me one once. And they were like, look how dirty it is. And I was like, it looks like a filter to me. <laughs> Just a little tired. Oh, I hope everything's all right, Dan. We had a winner, but not you. <laughs> so close. It's been half your life staring at consoles. The fact people will still be doing that 100 years from now concerns you. They sell them at Walmart. They probably do. They buy parts wholesale and then just rebrand them to say it's ODM and that increases the price like times five. Someone won a VIP Gamba? Um, not recently, but we've had a lot of winners. The majority of the VIP uh, VIPers won their VIP from the VIP gamble. So the VIP gamble has like um, the range has changed over time. It started at one to one hundred, and then uh, we changed it to one to one thousand. <clears throat> so we've had winners both in the one to one hundred and the one to one thousand range. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's possible people have won before for sure. The oil filter? No, it wasn't the oil. Oil, maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> I think I thought it was the air filter. Your manual will tell you where they are and how to probably change. Okay, filter out all the cursing while you drive. <laughs> Demon was one away. It's true. The thing with dealers is that in your experience they will be more trustworthy, but they will also be way more cautious. So they will want to fix extra stuff all the time and charge you more for special parts. Yeah. Copium remains. Oh, it should. It's definitely doable. All right. Croaking body, oh boy. Dead Croken, female. Tumors indicate experimentation. No restraint marks. Volunteer. Sterile, warlock, female, willing to risk procedures. Hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. This bothers you? You had to expect this? Her or the doctors? You didn't think the Krogan would sit back and let the genophage continue, did you? Suppose not. Still unpleasant to see. Rest, young mother. Find your gods. Find someplace better. That sounded religious. Can you find anything helpful? We killed dozens already, it's true. <laughs> this is true. Pretty was a VIP gamble win. It was an interesting one though. Someone gave the role to someone else who chose 13 and it came up 14. Yeah, recently it was. Uh, but Bemused, who's in here uh, quite often, he won on 14. Uh, that was when it was one to 100. That was also the day that three people won VIP back to back on a one to 100. It was Cindy Project and Bemused. Air filter is square. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> Had a great experience with your dealer so far. Been four years, that's good, that's good. Uh, nowadays, I just take my car to Jiffy Loop. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. We killed dozens already. You realize we gunned down a few Krogan on our way in, right? Different cases. Self-defense, combat instinctual, justified, medical experimentation, not the same. Mm -hmm. Krogan researchers ruthless, risking own clan's women for new data. Disgusting. 
short sighted. Wrong. The genophage was wrong. Come on, let's move. The genophage was right. Oh god, he's gonna hate us. Okay, no, I can't do I need it. To find Malin and shut this place. Down. I don't want Morden to hate us. Yes. Yes. It's fine. Was it one to five hundred? I handy. think it was as well, Mighty Mar. Yeah, I think it was. It's been it's been through a lot. <laughs> VIP Campbell's been through the ringer. Hundreds a lot easier than a thousand. Yep. Mm -hmm. Did you change it to a thousand after three people in a row? One, I think I did, or maybe I changed it to one to five hundred. But I definitely bumped it up after that. Yeah. Jiffy Loop is the one you guys. <laughs> Jiffy Loop is the worst. Y'all said the dealer was the worst. Now Jiffy Lube is the worst. Who should I take my card to? Who should I be taking my card to? I think 89's the next number to hit. Y'all are like, don't trust anyone. Just do it yourself. I don't know if I trust myself. <laughs> Believe in the 60. Cindy one on 69. I don't know how I remembered all your numbers. Cindy one on 69. Project one on 13. But me was one on 14. Nevi won, Nevi won on one to 1,000, and I think she won on nine. I want to say her number was nine. Um, Pounce also won on one to 1,000 on 69 as well. Um, I think Keith won on 13. I want to say Keith also, also won on 13. Take your card to Sundi's, okay, Sundi, if you insist. <laughs> we should try one to 500 sometime. We've had so many close calls. One to a thousand is literally impossible. I've tried multiple times and never won. <laughs> Good local independent shop. Okay. You can do, you got to do it all yourself or else your car will probably explode. Only trust people who don't want to work on your car. Force a random stranger to look at it. Okay, yes. Mr. Random Stranger, can you look at my car, please? Small local mechanic shops are the most trustworthy places to take your car always. Okay. Find a no franchise shop. Okay, okay. <laughs> The worst person to take a car to, Jiffy Lube, is at least one better than that. Yeah, I trust Jiffy Lube more than I trust myself, right? Definitely trust yourself. Yourself is the worst mechanic. Your accent to Jiffy Lube, they didn't tighten the oil nut, and all the oil leaked out and her engine seized. Okay, I'm never going to Jiffy Lube ever again. 420 is next. I think, did, didn't someone win on 420 as well? I can't remember. Okay, we're going. Sorry, Morden. I know we're taking our time. <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh. Sick Krogan! Oh no! I'll be with you in a minute. Uh-oh. Not Blood Pack. Not member of Clan Werelock. Wrong clan markings. I'm a nerd not scout. Werelock guards got me. Brought me here. We were looking for you. What did they do to you? You don't look so good. Are you injured? They gave me... things. Injections, mostly. Sometimes gas. Oh no! Made me sick. Fever. Aches. Can't keep food down. They're fixing the genophage. I'm making a sacrifice. He thinks he's helping. For all, Krogan. Can you get out? I dealt with them. You're safe now. Just get back to your camp. I'll deal with the Warlock. You can't do that. You can't stop them. Don't you understand? They're curing the genophage. They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable, susceptible, brainwashed. Brainwashed. I want to help. Let's just leave him. Forget it. I'm leaving. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the female. Oh, no! I'll never have kids of my own. 
But if I help undo the genophage, then I mattered. Oh, this poor guy. Oh man, high still on cooldown. Poor? You have so many points! <laughs> you poor. <laughs> All of you. And Rose especially, my goodness. So he's literally you. It doesn't help your clan. I see what's really going on. Uh-oh. Stay here. I'm trying to help. Lie. Relax. It's okay. Forget it. I'm leaving. I see what's really going on. You got a bruised ego. You got caught and beaten. So you oh, turn no. yourself loose for something important. That's not true. I need to stay. They're gonna cure us all. We're so mean. You're not a real Krogan. When a real Krogan gets knocked down, he gets back up. I did. I got back up every time they hit me. So many times. You're lying there right now like a Vorcha grubbing in the mud. You gonna just lie there, Vorcha? Screw you, human. Nobody says that to me. Nobody keeps me down. Damn right they don't. Now get back to Clan Erdnot and report in. Go. Go! Rawr! Nicely done. We helped him, but at what cost? To be contagious. We are so mean. Oh, so mean. Oh, man. That was so mean. I feel so bad. We're the worst. <laughs> Krogan's knee tough love though. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. That was so mean. So ruthless. And then he roared. <clears throat> Shepard, I'm detecting crates ahead that are holding unstable materials. A misplaced shot could cause a significant uh -oh. explosion. Or a well-placed shot. Explosives useful. Burn through Krogan armor. Okay, we did see that. Yeah, Monster. the fire did just melt them completely. Oops. Nothing can hurt me. <laughs> oh god, here we go. A lot of health, this one. Impact shot. That concussive shot is real good. Real strong. Fortification. A brief but massive boost to your armor? Burn through any armor. Ooh! Crispy. Impact shot. Oh. Worthless. Okay. Did we get him? Not Is he still good. alive? Nope, we're good. Circuit boards. Okay. Oh no, Anne Rose. <laughs> I tore into him. I know, I feel so bad. I know that helped him and got him out of there, but still. Ruthless. Okay, those are the explosive crates they told us to watch out for. Uh oh. Killed that one. Wow. Ah. Oh my god, there's still a Krogan. Watch it. Should do the trick. Getting up close. Oh, he's running. He's running more than look out. <laughs> Martin just flipping over these explosive crates is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Power cells? Hi, Red Penguin! How are you doing? Good to see you! Hello, hello, happy Sunday! What crew members have we unlocked so far? All of them? Not all of them. Um, there's still three dossiers that I haven't done. We have Miranda, Jacob, Morden, Grunt, Kasumi, Zaid, Jack, and Garrus. We're trying to sleep with Garrus, but it hasn't quite happened yet. Are we being meanies again? We're so mean, Red Penguin! I feel, I feel awful. Did you, uh, did my VIP gamble, but you missed it. Oh no. Oh no, I missed it. I missed it, sweet. I'm so sorry. I didn't even see it come through. All right, sweet's VIP gamble from six minutes ago. 3.54, good luck, sweet. I'm so sorry. 
567. So close. So close, but unlucky. Uh, Zai's my, fa <laughs> my favorite team member. Should I rank, should I rank the team members um, in order of who I like the most to who I like the least? Zaid is at the bottom, absolutely. He's at, he's bottom F tier. Um, in my S tier, I would put uh, Garrus, Morden, and Kasumi. And then A tier can be like uh, Grunt. And then B tier, I would put um, Miranda and Jacob. I w okay, I would put I would put Jack in A tier as well. Yeah, Zaid's still F tier though. <laughs> How was my weekend? Thank you for asking. I spent time with that dog. Oh, sounds like a great weekend. Sounds like a perfect weekend. What kind of dog was it? Gare's <laughs> working out the logistics. He's calibrating and he's doing some re research. <laughs> ranking list, ranking list. Team member tier list time. Yes, please. F tier for fantastic. No, I know who all these people are. <laughs> People always forgetting or overlooking Tali, the love of my life. Well, Tali's not in our crew. I, I'm just speaking of the people who are in our crew. Miranda, greater than Jack, greater than Kasumi, greater than Jacob. <laughs> okay, that's four of them. What about the rest? Um, Jacob, okay, I will say I like Jacob at the start of the game. I thought he was really cool and like someone who I could trust. But uh, now, now at the point that we're at in the game, I don't know. Like Jacob's kind of iffy to me. Miranda, we haven't done her loyalty quest yet, though, so I'm curious on how that's gonna go. We haven't done Jack's loyalty quest either. Kasumi's great against Collector. She almost kills a Collector with a full barrier, even in Insanity. You barely interacted with the Chihuahua after cleaning your friend's chimney liner, man. To be honest, you have zero memory. Of oh, Kasumi's the best. She she's apparently a DLC character, but um, she's like the stealthy assassin one. She has a move called Shadow Strike that's really good. I don't have Tali. No. I'm trying to do the loyalty quest of my current crew members. Tali's Bay. Garrison Grunt Morden, greater than all the rest. <laughs> I, I do agree with that, yes. But the locust on any crewmates is very underrated because it, it is amazingly accurate while shooting. I have the locust equipped right now, and so does, I think, Morden. Um, I don't know. The damage is just, like, not there for me. I think I'm too used to the sniper rifle that I can't deal with, like, the SMG damage. Shoot 10 times and hit exactly the same spot 10 times. Yeah, I think um, I think accuracy is going to be really important, but I just don't use the SMG much. You like Miranda, though? Miranda? Okay, Miranda's kind of the opposite, right? At the start of the game, I really didn't like her, but now she's kind of growing on me. If only Jenkins were here. Jack needs to wear more clothes, whatever. Jack can wear less clothes and I'd be fine with it. You miss Jenkins so much. A visual ripping with Mass Effect tier list. F tier Zaid. C tier Jacob Miranda. B tier Kasumi and Jack. A tier Grunt. S tier Morden Garrus. Okay, that's not too far off from mine, Red Penguin. I like it. Jenkins number one in our hearts. <laughs> Reposo tier Ashley and Kaiden. Oh, we did find Kaiden on, uh, I think it was the Horizon quest. And he is now scum beneath my shoe, okay? I liked Kaiden, now he is he is the dirt of the scummy dirt. I hate him now. She's growing on you like a fungus. <laughs> I hate Kaiden, I'm so mad, I'm still mad at him that he chose to stay with his alliance bros instead of joining us. Okay, Kaiden, good luck saving the world. <laughs> All right, I'm going downstairs. No, mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 no. All right, you need a concussive blast for sure. Some fire. On the ground, now. Oh, shoot. Ah. Okay, don't charge. Don't do not charge. Ah. God, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Ah, I can charge it. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. I got him. We're good. See, this sniper rifle. <laughs> I remember people were like, Choose, you're not going to be able to use that sniper rifle in uh, Mass Effect 2. Here's me using the sniper rifle relentlessly. <laughs> I 
Dude, you guys, where's your stuff? Uh-oh. Overload. He's got armor too. You got him, besties. Nice. Whew. Okay, they want me to go that way. You rank Jack at CUI because on Insanity, none of her abilities actually do anything. She's kind of squishy, so as much as I love her as a character, utility-wise, she's just not great. Totally fair. Totally understand that. <clears throat> Bonka sneaky little snake. Timber ghost, I knew it! <laughs> Guess everyone who told you you couldn't use a sniper just had a skill issue? No, no, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I totally understand why people would think that, but I get I get so many ammo drops and uh, your besties, I feel like your besties in this game pull a lot more of their weight than they did in Mass Effect 1. So if it wasn't for that, I feel like I would have to be more independent, but they do a pretty good job. Uh, you hate Jack as a character? Worse than Zaid? Why don't you like Jack? She reminds me so much of Eleven from Stranger Things. Uh, you lose all the time now. I know the heists are so rigged. Rigged beyond belief. Okay, don't do it. Haven't had a bestie since Jenkins made the ultimate price. <laughs> Oh no, they're not gonna give it to me. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna join the heist, but it's rigged, okay? You heard it here first. Heist is absolutely rigged. When heist about as much as Timber goes. <laughs> yep. Malin! Malin? Alive, unharmed. No signs of restraint, no evidence of torture. Don't understand. For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. Uh-oh. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? Uh, Warlock is controlling him. He didn't need rescuing. I'm gonna say Warlock's controlling him. He always knew I was a sneaky snake. <laughs> All those times you left me, Timber Ghost, in the heist, hmm? How else do you explain that? Warlock's controlling him. Maybe the Warlock brainwashed or drugged him to keep him under control. Unlikely, pupil's normal, body language uh -oh. consistent with standard metabolic state. Please, Professor, you wrote a paper on this. Forced behavior modification always results in mental degradation. Whether from Reaper indoctrination or drugs, test subjects always lose higher cognitive function. Not brainwashed or conditioned. Need Malin at peak capacity for work. Must be alternate source of coercion. He didn't need rescuing. He betrayed you. Oh God, what do I do? Oh man, the ruthless, the ruthless options are real hard today, aren't they? They haven't been that bad lately, but today they're, they're pretty bad. I loved you more recently. Okay, it's fair. Maybe I'm a sneaky snake too. <laughs> he didn't need rescuing, he betrayed you. Oh God. I feel like knowing Morden, he probably wouldn't even believe us if we said this. He'd be like, no, I was wrong. Dang. Oh, <gasps> Timber Ghost, we did it! Not rigged. Okay, see? See? Here's a good example of when it's not rigged. No, no, not rigged. Not rigged. <laughs> not rigged this time. Exactly, Spirit. See, not rigged this time. <laughs> Completely rigged. The Blood Pack never kidnapped Malon. He went to them. 
He's working on a cure voluntarily. Contact said he was with Blood Pack. Assumed. But why? Never argued with necessity of Genophage. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solus? I was your student! I looked up to you! Experiments performed here. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. But now we're in this project is over. It's Jover. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. We tie them, we tie them, we tie them. Still, you leave us behind. Choosy cry. <laughs> My partner in crime is Timbergos, okay? As long as me and Timbergos make it, it's not rigged. Sweet, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate Thank you. We have a pact. Little people leave. <laughs> I rigged it so rigged. Dev not rig. Y'all love me behind Mighty Mar. Y'all need to find heist buddies, okay? It's the only way. You gotta find someone to form a heist pack with. And then you win together or you die together. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Based. <laughs> Sloan. How many points you own? <laughs> 12 points. Anyone else need a loan while I'm at it? Anyone else? <laughs> All right, chum. <laughs> the 12 points. <laughs> I think you had like 7,000 at the start of today, right? There you go. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I need a lone choose. And Rose, you definitely don't. Harmless, what are you at? What is that, Kappa? 33,000, Harmless, what? <laughs> We're paying with 27,000 points. I'm poor too. As long as Timber and I win, it doesn't matter who we hurt in the process. Ruthless. <laughs> Faded? Can I please have a small... Okay, where are you at, sweet? 10,000? You have more than Chum right now. <laughs> Interest rate's gonna be high. <laughs> so many... Jackie, 42,000 points. So many of you. There's so many of you. No more loans. I'm closing the bank. <laughs> Closing the bank. All right. No, 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 Gosh darn it. Chum, I swear. You won the last duel. I swear. Chum! <laughs> Ow. Ow. I'll take a loan to Miss Jamer. Banks close. The boy in the heron won an Oscar. Amazing, amazing. Also, why did I feel like the Oscars already happened this year? I feel like I'm living in a time loop or something. I can't believe it, chum. The betrayal. Underdog works better for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Taught by Morden? Morden, did you ever perform experiments like this? No, never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That will be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse. Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. That's garbage. <laughs> John the Jelly Slayer cannot be trusted. Got all the award shows mixed up. I, I swear that this already happened though. Right? Oh, maybe it was a different award show. Maybe it was like... What's the other one that does... That does movies too? It must have been something else. No, Grammys is music. There's another award show that does movies though. Can't remember what it's called. Chum with the bait and switch. <laughs> is that a bait and switch? It is now. <gasps> Golden Globes. That must have been what it was. Yeah, Golden Globes. I think that's right. You also thought they passed it. Because I remember like seeing or hearing how Oppenheimer won all these awards. And the boy in the heron won an award. And now I'm like living this deja vu. But I'm like, no, no, something's wrong here. <laughs> must have been Golden Globes. 
BAFTAs, I think, also, but I, I don't really look into the BAFTAs as much. Yeah, I think it was Golden Globes. Grammys is still music. <laughs> you don't watch any of those? Uh, I think I maybe would, but they're always on Sunday evenings, and obviously I'm streaming, so can't. I just look at the winners afterwards. Garbage. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition. Impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God and we failed. We only made things worse. And I'm going to fix it. I don't think so. Uh, Wandering Star, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Uh, last movie viewers, you saw starred Will Smith. <laughs> I haven't heard of The Boy and the Heron until four minutes ago. It's another Studio Ghibli. It's this, the most recent and maybe the last Studio Ghibli uh, film, Anne Rose. I heard it's really good. I haven't seen it yet, though. Baptists are more real than the Golden Globes TBH. More real. <laughs> okay. You only pay attention to the Darwin Awards? And kind of words are a joke. The best picture of the years are, uh, rarely is the best picture. Best director is best. Suck up to Hollywood in disguise. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of politics behind it. And like, you know, it's, it's about who's, who's chummy with who. More important than famous actors, thanks, Juice. <laughs> You'll really check your phone the morning after the Oscar next year when Dune uh, 2 cleans up. I think Dune 2 is probably going to win a lot, too. Did the original Dune win awards? I think it probably did. Malin sure is caught like he has cleavage. Stop. Boy, the hair is really good. I heard it was really good. Uh-huh. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. Why work with Clan Warlock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Warlock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Not Clan Erdnot? Erdnot has a larger camp than Warlock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments he I did needed. not it's Erdnot's loss and Warlock's gain their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed there's no way Malin's leaving here alive is there what now more in this project is Jover we're shutting your lab down Malin shutting down more than that you can't face the truth can you can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity <gasps> unacceptable experiments unacceptable goals won't change no choice have to kill you. Oh no. I could have stopped him with the paragon. Oh no. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. See, he would Thank still you. blame it on himself. Are you okay? Are we done? Oh my god. Dune 2 popcorn bucket wins best erotic. No, I heard that. I heard about the whole um, limited amount of popcorn buckets fiasco. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Boy in the Heron is not the last Ghibli movie. Miyazaki said it's his last movie, but also said that for like his last two or three. Yeah, I remember him saying that pretty frequently, but who knows? Dune Part 1 won a lot of production and music sound design stuff. VFX 2. Okay, nice. Jover. Not the last Ghibli, possibly last by Miyazaki, but he has said that multiple times before, yeah. Shocked I'm signing the board down on this one? The man's literally justifying genocide based on simulations? I have to be ruthless! We have to be ruthless! Less than Ruth. Morden needs a hug. He, I want to give Morden a hug so bad. He's a savage. Oh, man. I don't reuse popcorn buckets. Don't. Don't worry about me, Morden. How are you doing? Disappointed. Thought Malin better than that. Never suspected he'd go so far. Knew he was young, impressionable. Should have talked to him after. Gotten him through guilt. You were hurting too. Are we done? It was his fault. Oh. You dealt with your issues by opening a medical clinic. He started experimenting on prisoners. You did the right thing. Right, wrong, irrelevant. Malin dead, problem solved. Malin's research, only loose end. Could destroy it. Closure, security. <laughs> Still valuable, though. 
His research was sick! Might be worth keeping. If you think it could be useful, why not hang on to it? Worked for years to create modified genophage. Should destroy this. Malin's work could <laughs> cure genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. You should help the Krogan. Genophage was the right call. Hold on to the data. Destroy the data for now. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like this is an important decision, too. Oh, only choose get to genocide others. Why are they giving me all these tough decisions today? His fault! Stop using your past as an excuse for continuing to choose evil decisions. Never too late to do it. No, I said at the start of this playthrough I was going to continue the Renegade run, okay? We have to. This feels important. We have to. Tough choice. I hate this <laughs> data order. Hard being a co leader. Grunt just standing there in the background, like, hmm. <laughs> So choice for the cult leader, yeah. Just keep spamming the kill all button like you have been. Meenie meenie. It's not a renegade choice, I know, I know. I don't know which one to pick though. I mean, we don't know for sure that his work could cure the genophage. We don't know. I'm so curious what happens if you pick these options. Oh, we're just gonna have to decide. I'm leaning towards destroy the data. I'm leaning towards destroying the data. Is Rex alive? Rex is alive, yeah. We met him um, when we first got here. Let chat choose. <laughs> Nearly say he was right in front of a Krogan. I know Grunt's right there. Uh, I destroyed if it could help, though. Because we don't know. We don't know. That's a lot to trust. Man. <laughs> what would Rex do? I don't know what Rex would do. I don't know. My renegade chup want to cure the genophage or keep it going? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you can make it useful. What's the downside of keeping in? I guess there isn't a downside. The data will be with Morden and you can trust him with the data. I do trust Morden. Gosh darn it. One to five help Krogan. Six to ten hold data. Eleven to fifteen genophage right call. <laughs> Sixteen to twenty destroy. Oh, even the D20 rolled a, rolled a destroy here. So is this, is this just, uh, you can only pick one option or is it like you can pick two? You guys know? It's just one? Dang. Where is the slap option? We already punched Malin. Well, Morden punched Malin and then he shot him in the head, but <laughs> it's already happened. Hi, to the three. It's good to see you. Morden romance. No, I don't want to romance Morden. I want to be besties with Morden. We're trying to romance Garrus. 
You trust dead people to be dead. Hope the Krogan seems vague enough to be safe. The only Krogan I care about helping is Rex and I guess Grunt. But they care about the other Krogans, right? You might trust Morden, but his track record as students is pretty poor. That's a good point. Motivation of destroying it is I was unethically obtained, which is a pretty wimpy paragon move to be H. There can only be one. God. I don't like any of these options. The right two is only one, not sure about the left two. Okay, maybe we start on the left side then. I don't, I honestly don't know how much is gonna matter what we decide to do with the data. I guess we want to help the Krogan though. It does have you should help the Krogan is at the same level as hold the data. Yeah, I feel like these two kind of go hand in hand and maybe those two. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we can destroy it later. You know what Rex would say? I'm going, you should help the Krogan. You regret what the Krogan have become. You see the horror of what they did here, but you see the loss too. Wasted potential. They don't deserve this, Morden. Save the data. Point taken, Shepard. Yeah, this option goes Capturing to save the data. data. Wiping, local copy. Still years away from cure, but closer than starting from scratch. Done, ready to go, ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else, maybe somewhere sunny. Stay longer or leave. Ugh. Romance Morden as a backup. No. <laughs> Trust this gamer with this decision. I want to go talk to Rex, but we're going to leave. Here. <laughs> they like just roll it around on the floor. Uh. All right, troubled by clan warlock's progress towards genophage cure without Cerberus knowledge. Cure data may prove useful. Krogan dangerous, but if recruited as shock troops against Reapers, extremely valuable. Morden's assistant is no longer a problem. Morden will have no trouble focusing on the mission. He got neural shock. Ooh, cripple an organic enemy with pain. And he got a new outfit. And we got a squad member upgrade for Krogan. Heavy weapon upgrade. Oh, that's nice. Hi, one for the money. How are you doing? Time to people leave. This ship cannot be trusted at all. It beach time. Time to go back to Vermeer. Mission completed. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, without Cerberus knowledge. What a mess. What a whole absolute mess. Oh, we are back here. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. We should maybe just leave. <laughs> we should maybe just leave. Uh, Martin, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. What did I do this weekend? It was a very rainy, poopy weather weekend, so I played a lot of Elden Ring. Did a lot of co-op with the community. It was a lot of fun. Commander, you received a new message at your private. I got a new message. We finally got through all of Kaelid. I told you guys we could do Dragon Barrow. Easy peasy. <laughs> we got through all of Kaelid and all of uh, Shifra. Oh, we got a lot of messages. You're too small. From Morlin. <laughs> I am sorry, my mate. I leave you for a Krogan because you are not endowed as good for your species. Do you fear those words? Moreland's famous shop sells <laughs> Oh God. Bye. Sells many enhancements online that are not restricted by Citadel training regulations. <laughs> but they require hormone augmentation, cybernetic enhancement. Or gene biotic xenografting. Morlin has many things you will be pleased with. All species and gender order online from Morlin's famous extranet site. 
Hot linked from this message. Product availability varies by local trade regulations. All Element Zero products require shipping surcharge. No shipping to Omega. Krogan reproductive organs not available. Other restrictions may apply. <laughs> God. Oh, you're playing Rebirth. So good. I'm happy to hear you're enjoying it. I feel like what a whole absolute mess kind of encompasses everything that's happened in Mass Effect. Yeah, pretty much. They brought the game to life. Amazing. You're having PTSD over where dead kind of comes. No, it was fine. Honestly, it went better than I thought it would, Anrose, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Thank God Kaelid is done for real. We did we did all of Kaelid, yeah. Are PP too small? <laughs> Enhancements. All right, Salty with the VIP gamble. Salty going with 424. Good luck. 727. Oh my god. Actually, like scarily similar. If only we had gone with seven instead of fours. Unlucky. Well, that's a thing we read. <laughs> oh, here we go. Therapy. Perfect. From Olar Han. Shepard, they say you're alive, that you cheated death, that sending you this isn't just a pointless exercise as part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benezia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill if my information did any good. They want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all had you not shown up. It would have been right. Why me and not her? Why did you show up then and not before? They think that they can fix me, but maybe you're not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close that door in time. Maybe I held it open to give her a chance and the Rachni ripped my suit open and I died of exposure there on peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr and this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. But if I'm not, then thank you. Do I know this person? <laughs> Hi, Carl. How are you doing? Great decision to save data. I don't know. I don't know. Was in War Dead? I skipped it because I remember it being scary, but I can't remember why. There's a lot. There's a lot of enemies, a lot of like clean rot knights, um, scarlet rot. There is um, these knights that are archers and they shoot really uh, high damage gravity arrows at you and then the boss at the end of it is a putrid tree spirit thing yeah <laughs> pretty nasty <sighs> he was a volus on novaria i figured that but i don't remember meeting this person the volus from me1 i don't remember meeting a volus on novaria you know them i'm um, sir this is a wendy's <laughs> i don't remember how to follow you know is he got a gift sub nine days ago oh thank you for the follow martin i'm glad you got a gift sub i hope you enjoy your emotes he was in the hot labs i remember hot labs but i don't remember meeting a volus there okay i'm just gonna assume so this person's thanking me for killing the rachni queen basically right he said the rachni would have killed us all had i not shown up That's what I'm taking from this. <laughs> to Grunt's commander from all oh, the shaman, shaman or not. Gosh darn it, hate these things, but you need to hear this. You're a part of Grunt's Krant and you're his leader, so keep him alive. Here, I have to stay polite, play the role, but our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as a people, we need your that grown grunt. Okir was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan, and that's more than most have on this ball of rock. So bring him back from your gosh darn mission. My people need him, and if you all get killed, I'll piss on your graves! Shaman or not. <laughs> Yay. Uh... I guess basically he is on our side now okay so we just finished morden's uh loyalty mission i guess we should go chat with him maybe can't remember him at all i can't either when he was already mentally messed up for oh no i think i do remember now one of his co-workers dying to the rachni i think i do remember him now actually but like very vaguely yeah the trauma. <laughs> he was a doctor and probably the only person in the team with a captain in Novaria who didn't go mad or get indoctrinated by Sovereign. Yeah, I think I, I think I vaguely remember. 
We just received three very unhinged emails. Who's sending us these emails? How'd they get my email address? <laughs> Ow. Unity restores squad member shields to full strength. Yes. That sounds good. We don't care about the med, med bay upgrade. Oops. Ooh, new heavy weapon. Uh, explosive rounds. Nuke launcher, okay. I could get down with that. All right, Morden, what do you have? Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Almost thought he lacked backbone. Shame I had to kill him. Might have made a good member of the team. Willing to get his hands dirty. About the research? You're awfully relaxed. You may have had a bevy. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. I need the emotional processing capacity of a Salarian. <laughs> That's what I need. I feel like I'd be a lot happier if I did. Uh, can't tell if doing that to a grave is good or bad in Krogan culture. Definitely speak to Morden, yeah. <gasps> Old boy with a VIP gamble. All right. Old boy. Oops. Let me all tab out of here. Old boy going with 321. Good luck. 321. 405! Actually close. Actually so close, but unlucky. Oh. Close is one we've had today. Then your lifespan would be shorter. Is that true? It's probably fine. I mean, honestly, I don't want to be like old and alive. <laughs> God, is that bad? I just don't want to get to a point where like my body's just constantly in pain from old age and like can't move around. And you know, I feel like that wouldn't be fun. Uh, I think letting Morden blow the brains out of his student relieves some of his stress. I think so, too. Yeah. Hi, Winter. How are you doing? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. People are saying short lifespan like it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's like one of those things where, like, if you could live for 200 years with your, like, body in your 20s or 30s, yeah, I would be all about that. But, like, do I want to be 90 in a wheelchair and, like, every time I lift a finger, my whole body aches? And I can't, like, you know, do things for myself and be independent. I feel like, no. I feel like I wouldn't really enjoy that, you know? Uh, <laughs> Sorry they speak so fast. Uh, so fast. They max out around age 40. Need to live life at double R speed. Oh. You don't feel anything? Then wasn't like that. What about the research? Hmm. Malin didn't seem like he processed his emotional response. He was obsessed with the genophage. True. Didn't mean to imply that Salarians were healthier emotionally. Can still make wrong choices. Bad decisions from grief, anger, guilt. Malin couldn't accept feelings. Made decision. Executed. Probably before I left for Omega. Wish I'd seen it. Salarians still feel, just resolve it quickly. Explains lack of marriage. Can't sustain courtship emotions. Or perhaps based on reproduction. Unsure. Hmm. I wear that dress though. <laughs> I forgot I'm still in this dress. <laughs> Trying to care romancing this guy. I was wearing the dress for Garrus, okay? As long as I can play video games with my thumbs, I don't need to move. Hi, Mango. How are you doing? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Keeping yourself active and healthy can almost certainly uh, prolong such aging effects. I feel like, the, uh, like, to an extent, that is under your control, right? Definitely, I'm someone who uh, recommends staying active and working out regularly, but at some point, like, you know, your body just gives out. My body's already starting to do that. You know, I have I have hip pains, which like, what? <laughs> I don't like that. Um, and I definitely feel achy a lot more than, you know, when I was a few years younger. So some of it is in your control. Some of it, I feel like you can't do anything about. You'll set yourself on an iceberg when you reach the age as all elders should know. You wouldn't mind being old if it means I'll still be alive when Silk Song comes out. Stop. 
<laughs> Hope everyone feels better. Yeah, we all need it. Morden deserves romance too. I feel like Morden doesn't care about romance, you know? I feel like that's the last thing on his mind. Hi, human. How are you doing? We were talking about your dump truck uh, dragon's dogma 2 character earlier. <laughs> How are you doing, though? It's good to see you. Still young, still gets carded. I do. I do. People still keep telling me I look young, but I'm like, tell that to my body and how it feels like it's 70. First comes the creaky, then comes the leaky. <laughs> no. I thought I was drooling because of Garrus, but maybe I'm drooling because of old age. Aren't you like 40 now, though, Choose Pretty much, yeah. It's actually closer to 50. All right, what about the research? What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. I'm not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Oh, Should no get problem, back bestie. Work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Okay. Let's go visit our fish. Let's go feed him. <clears throat> Choose and I are same age and since I am young and cool, so is Choose. Thanks for Penguin. You are young and cool. <laughs> that don't be legendary before the game even launches. I can't wait to see it in action in the game. <gasps> wait, what? Did it say clean out dead fish? What happened to my fish? Where's my fish? How did they die? Who killed my fish? Was it the space hamster? Oh no. Oh no. They stop. What do you, how did they starve? I fed them so much. If anything, they died because they ate too much. I didn't feed them often, but I fed them all the time, not the fish. Starving and miserable. <laughs> I thought it said feed fish, and then I was like, wait a minute. Did that say clean dead fish? What? I didn't feed them? People remember when they, where they were when Silk Song comes out five for sure. Out five, sure. <laughs> Uh, ruthless? I was trying to keep the fish alive. I did feed them, but I guess maybe I didn't feed them. I did feed them, though. What What happened? Grunt ate them. Grunt was with us. <laughs> Gotta feed them constantly. I thought I did feed them constantly, didn't I? I must have messed up somewhere. I don't know where, though, because I feel like I fed them all the time. I forgot to feed the fish. Forgot to feed them. They were our best friends. <laughs> No one here expected the fish to live. What do you mean? I expected them to live. You murder. Okay, how's the hamster doing? I don't have to feed the hamster. Okay, hamster's still alive. Thank goodness. <sighs> hamster's okay. I gotta buy more fish. How do I? How do I buy more fish? I can't believe the fish died. That's so messed up. I bet it was Edie. Edie killed the fish. It wasn't me. Okay, it was Edie. Oh, you know, we should talk to Grunt as well, because we did his quest. Fish became sushi. No, I think we flushed the fish into space. I think that's what happened. Grunt's over here. Fig, don't read too far into this. <laughs> You're shocked they survived this long? What do you mean? I fed them so much. I feel like every time I came back to the ship, I fed them, right? The butcher of fish. Keep this in mind, Choose. If you go more than two missions, including side quests, without feeding the fish, they rot? Oh. Did I go more than two, though? I feel like I didn't. Space hamster shaking. Okay, maybe hopefully he didn't see what happened. <laughs> Edi, I am not responsible for your fish, Shepard. Gosh darn it. Bird not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... I am Krogan! That makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. I think that was the green Krogan that was being very rude. We did this to calm you down. Save it for the collectors. Can you focus that on our real enemy, or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. He's happy. Our happy grunt. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. 
and we better not run out of targets. Some data land it has to. No shortage there. I can't have you going rogue. There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. All right, I need to go put on a different outfit. I'm done wearing this dress. <clears throat> Definitely Skynet ED. Yep. We live in a super futuristic society. They can't install an automatic fish feeder. Yeah, what is that about? <clears throat> I didn't take this personally, but you wouldn't trust me to take care of a fake plant? Tar have so many real plants and they are all thriving, okay? Look at all my plants! <laughs> Look at them all. Fish can't fast that long? I guess it's true. Those fish do be hungry. Alright, back to this one. Alright, let's go talk to Garrus. Maybe he's done calibrating. Garrus, any day now! <clears throat> Waffle Pig, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. The collectors were once protheans. Two missions or one major mission loyalty storyline? I guess we did do Morden's and Grunts back to back. I wonder if that's what did it. Space Hamster literally watching his friends die around him, Garrus. But Grunt feeds his fish. Wow! Homie, oh, turn it on me because of the fish. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Definitely. Part of me still. Garrus, stop questioning it! For even considering blowing off steam. But I want to try it with you. <gasps> I want a few moments that are just for us before we throw ourselves it's happening. for the good of the galaxy. I want to be a friend. I feel, I feel the same way, Garrus! Absolutely feel the same way. It's happening. It's happening. You guys, it's finally happening. Get the drool bucket! <laughs> I just immediately start drooling around Garrus. I can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Survivor's bias, so you don't get to see all the plants that day. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. There are quite a few plant casualties, it's true. But there's a lot of happy plants, too. It's happening? There's not a drill? Wear protection? <laughs> he's not questioning. He's in the right before doing a dialogue. I don't know, okay? I haven't been able to read Garrus's signals, okay? But it's, he spent, like, three decades calibrating. If it's not now, it's never. I want that, too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll do some uh, yes! research and figure out how to, you know. How much research? Oh, how it. much research? It was a drill. It was a drill. He's not ready. It's more research. <laughs> God, darn it. <laughs> Time to use the riz. I have zero riz. No riz. Who drinks scare? Who thinks scare species is fire like ding dong? Like it's a good no. <laughs> God. No. Jabaden. Put the dress in for Morden, and then change into this. I had the dress on for Garrus last time. I can't believe it. It's never gonna happen, is it? Garrus, he's teasing me. All right. <clears throat> so we still have Zaid, Miranda. And Jack, loyalty missions to do. Uh, let's do Miranda's. Speak to Lantia. Travel to Ilium. Uh huh, uh huh. Speak with Miranda's contact. We're basically supposed to find Miranda's twin. I think. Turian foreplay, it's the worst. Garrus takes almost as much time as I do. <laughs> He's so like unsure. How complicated is it, Garrus? It's gonna be like super duper complicated, I think. All right, we're good on fuel. Buy some more probes. Uh, hit the mass relay. All right, we are doing Miranda's help. Miranda. We want we want Crescent Nebula. All right, time to scan the planets. We are super solid on palladium. We need everything else.
Of course, this planet only seems to be rich in palladium. Oh! Probe launched. Probe launched. Bottom? Probe away. All right. Field Depot here. Wow, there's a lot going on at Ilium. Recruit the Juice to Car. Recruit the Assassin. Help Miranda. Give Liara intel. Wow, there's a lot to do there. These planets Probe suck. You gotta do his research first. That's what he said last time. That's what he said last stream. He was like, I'm gonna do research to figure out how this works. And I was like, okay, it sounds good, Garrus. And we come back today. He's still doing research. What kind of websites he gonna do research on? No. <laughs> He's on 4chan. Stop. Oh my god. Do not ruin Garrus for me, please. Like, juice de car? Just de car? Just die car? <laughs> not juice. Just. I'm pretty sure that's a made up word. I've heard of justicier, but I never heard of just de car. Alright, nothing else here. Little planet. It's so red. Probe launched. Lots of iridium, nice. Probe away. Garrus is a nice young man. He is. I love Garrus. Not made up. You use a daily stuff. <laughs> Just a car. Definitely made up. We don't. We sadly don't need palladium. Way too much of that. Probe launched. Okay, I think we're good. French for just a car. Yeah, but that this, the definition you paste is justicier, which is different from what is in this game. Just a car is def a real word? I know justicier from justicier Rikard. Red levels off the charts. All words are made up. <laughs> Just this year is spelled differently from what it is in this game, though, is what I'm saying. Is the point I'm making. They're different. Exactly. The the word in this game and just this year are different. Chat. <laughs> Kara's making a Reddit post. Am I the a-hole for not shacking up with my captain immediately? She's definitely interested, but I'm scared and I can only see I'm researching for so long. Have a good night, Lorthin. Get lots of good sleeps, friend. I hope you feel better soon. I hope your back feels better soon. Take it easy, please. I don't hate you, chat. I just to care about my streamer more. They just pronounce it different. They spell it different, too. It's only a word in fiction, like D. Oh, it's a D&D &D word also. Interesting. Saw a video of a spider that burst out its skeleton like a fleshy alien to grow a new one? Yes! I learned recently that some spider species molt. I don't know if they all do, but at least some do because there was a spider that was living in my windowsill. I don't know how it ended up in there because it was a big spider and there's not, like, I didn't see a gap between the window pane and, like, the window screen, but it was trapped between there. And uh, it went through several molts. And at first I thought it died because I saw the molt and I was like, ooh, that was the spider. It was just its skin. I haven't seen it actually molting, but that's what happened. 
The last one you said, but they say like justice car because of justice or something like that. Okay. Oh, this one's so purple. It's so pretty. Definitely said definitely seen just a car in other games. Maybe it's a fantasy only thing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm super confused now. All right, this planet is rich. What is it rich in? Please don't be palladium. Oh my god, don't do it. Why? They never have the elements I'm looking for. Oh. I need element zero and lots of platinum. Woo! I'll take it. Probe launched. Nice. Away. Salty with another VIP gamble. Wow. All right, as soon as I finish scanning this planet. All right, I think we're done with this. I think the rest of it is just palladium. All right, Salty going with 688. Good luck, Salty. 688. 543. Pretty close again. Man, we're getting there, but unlucky. So close. Sometimes I wish we could wear my skeleton on the outside. Sometimes I wish I could wear my skeleton on the outside, too. It'd be cool if humans had an exoskeleton, you know, make us a, a little bit more sturdy, I think. I love IR spectroscopy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, last one. I think Ilium is the last one. Okay. I see Spooter. I smashed like Quaylag. No. <laughs> oh, Ron is in here. Ron got to Quaylag in uh, Dark Souls 1, called her Booba Spider. All right. We want to bring Miranda. I mean, they're probably going to let us bring her later when it matters. What does she have anyway? Overload is nice. Warp, I think, is nice, too. Okay, let's just bring her. Why not? Shockwave pull. Area overload. Oh, right. Garrus? He's overload also. I'm bringing- I don't care. I'm bringing Garrus. I forgot to look at their outfits again. What is wrong with me? All right, I do really like concussive shot. Um, propels enemies, bone crushing force. Impact radius large enough to knock down multiple enemies. We want that one. Okay, and then we'll also upgrade armor piercing ammo. 12 points. You can tell I never take Miranda out. Overload warp. What does warp do again? Mass Effect field damages enemy targets and stops health regen, detonates antibiotic powers already affecting the target, such as polar singularity, causing further damage, effective against armor and biotic barriers. Let's max out overload with the area. Okay. I know we just got a new um, heavy weapon, but I kind of want to stick with the particle beam. I don't know. The particle beam just feels safe to me. Okay. Have a good one, old boy. Get lots of good sleeps, too. Gears for the win. I love Gears. <laughs> We get another chance to do the outfit when you enter the combat area. Perfect. Let's see if I remember then. <laughs> I've forgotten like three times already, sadly. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. Oh, how nice. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. 
Why do I get the free pass? I was concerned for a moment. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your <gasps> Liara! and paid all fees you would normally Oh, incur. that's so nice. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Trading floor. Oh, man. What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. We Hi, Ted. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good weekend. Proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. Don't sign anything, okay? Oops. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can Maybe afford Maybe there it. will be more In fish. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Uh, slavery? That's disgusting. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. <laughs> All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon... We her. haven't seen Liara yet. Is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing How does you. she know we're alive? Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you There's can't There's definitely going to be fish here. I'm going to buy more fish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mind meld, lady. <laughs> Do I clicking on the ship and reviewing the crewmates? Oh, okay, okay. It's not Liara, I can't tell them apart. Liara is here though, apparently. She is here. Let's not find out. You think she's gonna ask us to mind meld again? Time to nuke a world. You stage yours to be here and choose chat. Or you sign yours to be here and choose chat. <laughs> we haven't seen Liara and I don't care to see her. We're gonna have to see her, a penguin. That's a secret? Slave fish, no! <laughs> Pet fish. I'll feed them. I'll take good care of them, I promise. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to any Useless! People. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. Okay, we have I to find she Liara. Can... She'll help us find Miranda's twin. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this just a car. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Edie, we didn't need to hear all that. Edie. You're an indentured chatter, no? <laughs> Y'all are free to come and go. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't no, you don't understand. I Oops. lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. <laughs> it can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it... No, I, I, I understand. Pardon me, I'm on a call. Pardon me, I'm on a call. I was eavesdropping. Pardon me, I'm on a call. I wanted to help you. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. <laughs> Come on, come on, give me something. I want to do the gambling again. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's news. Holy 
crap, Shepard. I thought you were. Wait, Shepherd? I remember this lady. The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. I remember. It was my pleasure. I remember. If I recall correctly, Miss Parasini. You owe me a beer. <laughs> that <laughs> I face. do. Have a seat. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. I'm hitting the collectors. I'm on a mission. It's classified. Can't tell you. Indentured cultists unite stop. <laughs> Have you seen any of the stone aliens of the tentacles? I forgot the species name. The jellyfish looking ones? I think we saw maybe a couple in two. But they're not as not as prevalent as they were in one. Pardon me, Monica. <laughs> I just wanted to help her. We look very evil. <laughs> I see people having killed the, the people having killed in the first game. Yep. I helped her. An old friend. Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. <laughs> hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've oh. got to go. Talk to you later. And don't Hello? forget to drink beer. <laughs> that does not look like a beer. Oh, she left us a note. Shepard, had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. How did she write this note so fast? Asari merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk her into showing you good stuff? What? Show me the good stuff? Is that what I do? Talk to a merchant. All right, where's the merchant at? I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Whoa! Expensive! Biotic plus 20% biotic damage? I'm gonna be broke, aren't I? Doubles the time limit for bypass. We don't need that. Plus 40% squad bonus plus 40% tech power damage. That's actually insane. Medigel capacity would be nice. Helmet. I don't even wear my helmets. Increase melee damage. Oh, I haven't tried any melee combat yet. Weapon damage, shield strength. Increases shields and melee damage. Increases weapon damage, shields, and melee damage. Uh huh. I mean, these sound okay, but they're also. I don't know if I want to spend money on that. I want the tech damage. And I want the biotic damage. And I want the medigel capacity. I don't care about the bypass module. You don't even like this woman. <laughs> that wasn't sus at all. She suddenly was just like, I gotta go, bye. Gets off busy if you don't help her, and when you do help her, she takes all the credit. Gotta talk to the merchant. Yeah, yeah, I, I wanted to see what was in the kiosk first. I was curious. Uh, I don't think I want any of that. I feel like buying it just like the completionist in me, but I don't think I'm ever gonna wear any of these. And I gotta save money for fish and maybe other merchants. Okay, I'm not gonna buy anything for now. Of course, I can help you with the cons. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. <laughs> Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. I'm a big spender. This stuff might be crap. <laughs> what do you sell? I want advanced merchandise. I'll do some shopping. You're being watched. This stuff might be crap. <laughs> uh, uh, melee, but not tonight. I got a headache. Water season, thank you. Oh, for Avatar. Uh, yeah, the live, uh, the live, that one. Yes, I haven't watched that, but I kind of want to. More fish to start. No, I'm gonna take really good care of the fish. I will, I promise. No dead fish on my ship. Miss on the ultimate renegade option in Mass Effect 1. Did I really? Bummer. We need more fish. I'm not gonna starve the fish. I will take the best care. The fish are fresh enough, you can make sushi. I thought they were fresh, but apparently, no. People in chat were like, I'm surprised the fish even lasted that long. <laughs> Stuff might be crap. 
How do I know this stuff is any good? You're in a sorry. Maybe your stuff is oh. no good for humans. So rude. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money back guarantee. That doesn't help when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, I should have waited. <laughs> the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when should have waited. In, you can take a look. All right, I want advanced merchandise. I'll do some shopping. You're being watched. I'm gonna say. Oh, special items. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. It's very sus. You're being watched. <clears throat> Called out directly. <laughs> Casual space racism. We're the worst. Yeah, where's Ashley? Oh, we. An internal affairs agent from Novaria is trying to catch you dealing with smuggled uh -oh. goods. Uh-oh. Parasini? Oh, thanks for the warning. I'm gonna get lost and remove some evidence. I'll program the kiosk to offer you a discount, though. Where the hell am I gonna go next, Omega? <laughs> what a hater! I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance. I should have waited till after. I didn't know she was gonna give us a discount. Oh, well, it's all good. Certainly, sir. Safe, too. I need a 100% safety guarantee of anything. Wow, this place is huge. There's a bar. Liara's office is close by. There's a lot happening here. Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indenture Tech can help. The leading provider of cutting edge Indenture Tech. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this room. I own this I think this is the way to Liara. Oh my god, I'm so confused. <laughs> Another difficult development for human experience. We'll figure it out. Solarian! I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all, for mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. <laughs> god, no one wants to talk to me! I'm just trying to help? Arena. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Literally, no one wants to talk. Okay. Nothing here. The council thought the blast out. <clears throat> we snitched. We did. Nothing illegal at all. <laughs> so these options are more just mean than actually ruthless, in my opinion. Systems are great for business. Some of them are very, very mean. The whole point. Danger means more conscious. You're sure, Gatewood? The store's over there. He's gonna and don't get cute. The whole place is monster. You're not gonna offer me a discount? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place Plus is 30 health for Shepard. Jeez, I'm gonna be broke if I buy that. Some machine gun damage. Plus 30. Oh, that would be nice. Damage protection. Squad bonus plus 20% to shield barriers and armor. I can't afford, I can only afford like one of these. Assault rifle damage. The amplifier plates. Using their expertise in the, okay, increases power damage by 5%. I can only afford one of these. The health ones, the defense ones are, are more expensive than the damage increase ones. I'm gonna do bonus damage to submachine guns. And that, okay. Can't believe they didn't give me a discount. Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Oh, <gasps> fish! 
Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this fish. It's a bright blue. I'm definitely buying it. <laughs> I can't wait. Surely tipping her off won't have any consequences. <laughs> Being rude to me and Jack isn't the same as Ruthless. Yeah. Uh, that I just said, tired of losing people to better job opportunities? Try slavery! Oh my god. Speak to the bartender, she's cool. I will, I will. I'm making my way around. Choose, please, I am on a call. <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy right now. Why does someone want to talk to the person with glowing red eyes? I, I will never understand. No, Mr. Fish, run away. Rip the fish. Odd locomotion, yeah. Odd locomotion and feeding habits. <laughs> Maybe this one will survive if I don't feed it, like, consistently. You know, if it's got odd feeding habits. And this year we will never afford the 30 health plates. It's gonna be fine. I'm buying the fish. All right, I gotta buy the ships too. Oh, they're so cheap. It's fine. <laughs> All right, more for the collection. Sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. Sorry. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Do you need help? He likes you. I'm just here to shop. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> no, please. Hi. Please try to ignore my non-boyfriend's non-poetry. Can I help you? Non-boyfriend's non-poetry. So is that her boyfriend then? Reason for breakup, reason for dating, return. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. <laughs> It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattooed okay. and you let your scalp go back to its natural blue and settle down with someone dependable. Blue rose of you should make a decision? So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but... For something permanent. Oh no, this poor Krogan. Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Wow! Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. Did you talk to him? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Nanasari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Oh, no! <laughs> You should take him back or get rid of him. Oh no. The poor Krogan. The poor Krogan. Oh no. This is the worst. Let's <laughs> so what is worse, a death sentence or having choose as a fish owner? <laughs> What's the difference? Death sentence, at least you get a meal. That's a good point, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of cute mm. hi lucas i'm good i'm happy to hear you're doing well too thank you for asking get rid of him <laughs> i'm a sorry for her predicament <laughs> got new carpets and new wood floors let's go very nice choose please we can't be mean to char i know but maybe okay look at it this way He's wasting his time if he keeps trying to stay with this Asari, right? Because clearly she's not interested and he deserves better. So maybe if we say get rid of him, we're actually helping him too, indirectly. Because then he'll find someone better to love. <laughs> First mission on Ilium Matchmaker. <laughs> it's home justifying it. It is Mario Day. Happy Mario Day. What do you mean? Mm. <laughs> I sound logic, right? I think so. Okay, okay. Yeah, now I feel good about saying get rid of him. <laughs> Listen, he's a Krogan. Any talk about kids is gonna mess him up. I know. You can't talk to Krogan about the genophage. I get so angry. If you settle down with him, you'll spend the rest of your life wondering if he was after you or kids. Yeah, you're right. I guess I needed to hear somebody else say it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Too late! 
Gosh darn it. They keep giving me the discounts after I buy everything. Good gracious. <laughs> All right, I guess that's the end of this. Tracking office. Area frontiers. I don't know what, what any of this fish? is. She loves the garden. We could ask. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Another I'm Asari. You, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse Mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody who we're looking ever for to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Alright, well, so let's focus on Miranda's first. Speak with Miranda's contact. I don't know where that person is, but we're gonna find him. If this were me, I really definitely go with, I don't care what you example, decide. You know I mean, it really is none of our business, right? Girl, but, sorry. you know, we That's love to meddle. No, she will. You're a shepherd? I don't know if you remember me. I was a colonist at Zoo's Hope on Pharos. How did you make it you out alive? from that enormous geth attack and from the Thorian creature's control. Too many people died in the fighting for us to save the colony. It's still better than being a slave to the Thorian, though. Oh god, she looks like she's seen some things. <laughs> How are the people? God, why are you here? You don't have time for this. I thought I killed all the colonists. <laughs> How did she make it out alive? Maybe we'll spend the next 300 years alone. It's okay, you know, better that than being with that terrible Asari. Which end up depressed and do something tragic. No, no. Do you encourage them to get together to appear on Tachanka later? When you go back there? No, he's gonna find someone else. He will. They're just being racist to Krogan's feeling good about it. <laughs> you don't have to do a Mario impression unless you're good at it. Oh, I, I would definitely not be good at it. Said he'd love the kids no matter what though. He would, but she said she didn't want kids with him, right? I don't know. I did not like the vibe she was putting out. I thought all the colonists died too. Her eyes, yes, yeah, she's got quotes, quite a few wrinkles. She didn't blink a single time when she spoke. Uh oh. How are the people? Why are you here? What brings you to Ilium? We've had health trouble, probably because of how the Thorian controlled us. We got a deal on some medical tests from a colonial survey group, but the contract had fine print that lets them perform more invasive procedures without uh -oh. our consent. I've talked to the representative, but she won't listen. I think she has a problem with humans. Let me handle it. Oh, let's see. Tell me more about the contract you signed to have these scans. <gasps> he Frontier said, don't sign anything. Do medical scans for next to nothing. Said they just use anything interesting they found in us. But there's a line we missed about how if they find something, they can do follow up procedures as they see fit without our consent. Can they do that? I can't actually force these procedures upon you. This is Ilium. They have contracts for just about everything you can imagine. If we don't take the tests, they'll declare I haven't signed anything yet, right? Now I'm terrified. We can't afford the legal fees they could hit us with? What kind of health problems did the colonists have? We get these headaches, like we did when the Thorian was controlling us, and muscle twitches, nerve damage maybe. And sometimes we can feel each other. I can tell when someone nearby is in pain. All right, we'll I'll handle talk it. To the survey group. <clears throat> really? Thanks. The sales rep is at the Baria Frontiers kiosk. Okay, bye. <laughs> she left like fig leaves after I give him his tree. Bye. Tracking office. I didn't see an office. Oh, here. Officer Dara. We missed one. You know what to do, Juicy. <laughs> Nothing to declare. Move along. Okay, bye. It would, would be easier to just take care of her than do this quest for her. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. <gasps> Your life is short enough. 
Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's the point? Why are you- Why so anky? Fine, goodbye. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of wow. the primordial muck. So, I see Ashley was reincarnated into this Asari. <laughs> She said you wanted to settle down and have a family. Nah, go back to being a mercenary. <laughs> what? Angie. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. This is because they're human. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were a sorry colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. We can't pick tell me about your family, but we can pick they didn't hate aliens. Probably true though. Not so casual space racism, right? Ashley reborn. Gonna learn what happened to the Pharaoh's people firsthand soon. <laughs> Punch her! I'm gonna say they didn't hate aliens. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters worked with aliens every day at the embassy and the consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Oh. Uh-oh. She gonna vom? I'm sending an amended contract. Let's go. No, tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I Look at us doing good deeds. Nice. Wait, do I get a discount though? Navigation charts for the Hades Nexus. Oh, this is like stuff to add to your uh, star chart. Buy it all. Okay. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They all hate her. I just received the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. I don't know what we would have done without you. <laughs> well, there'd probably be a lot more of you alive if it wasn't for me. <laughs> you can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. <laughs> is this way back? I'm so lost here. Either we tax and monitor Why is it every Asari person with the essaying? I don't know. That was easy. <laughs> Hi, D. Giffy. How are you doing? No, you have not missed too much. We did um, Morden's loyalty mission, and now we are... Well, we just got to Ilium, and we were coming here to do Miranda's loyalty mission, but now we're just exploring. Uh, this place is huge. Also, my fish died. It wasn't me, though. I'm blaming Edie. Edie killed the fish. She poisoned the tank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Been murdering today. No. No way. I don't know where I'm going. I gotta find Liara. Okay, we could go to the bar, too. I haven't been to the bar yet. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. Hmm. But you're certain that there's no enough grief in this galaxy. I don't want to add to it. <laughs> I'll add to it. Don't worry. This is, I think this is the bar. Bye. 
bachelor party. Ooh. Wow. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. See? My simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Morden would not yeah, care. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. And a story. <laughs> Okay. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. To Galana LeMay. Shipping routes into the Terminus systems. Don't worry, our contact is a Batarian gentleman named Anto. He's one of Arya's flunkies. Oh, Arya! I know Arya. But we're keeping his palms well greased and he should offer a safe passage through the systems. As long as we stay beneath Arya's notice, we should be fine. Sincerely, Valeria. Welcome to Synthetic Insights. Welcome to Synthetic Insights. Okay. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. <gasps> this oh, is the person who we needed to find for Miranda? Is this it? Yes, okay. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. Who is Niket? Tell me about the mercs. What should we do? We're altering the plan. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. I forgot she has an Australian accent. <laughs> we have not been taking her out on missions. I totally forgot. Be a lot more of them. Uh, you're good. I'm happy to hear you're doing well, Giffy. I'm good too. Keep listening to them. Is there more? The bachelor party? Yeah, I'm saying in the clerk. We'll let her cook. Tell me about the mercs. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. Making changes now could be dangerous. Are you sure you can trust Niket? Absolutely. He's one of my oldest friends. I trust him with Ariana. Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. I have a feeling we can't trust Niket, and he's going to turn on us. Get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety. Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. It's going already. Yet. Will Niket be safe? I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Let's go. Thank you, Shepard. We're driving, I apparently. <laughs> Hopefully not me, I someone else. On Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Wow, Miranda giving us a compliment? Who is she? Um, let's bring Garrus again. Oh, Garrus has three different outfits. Morden's outfits look almost the same. Don't care about Zaid. Ooh, Kasumi's got a red outfit. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I like the red, the red for grunt. The glowing one is really cool though. Oh, I'm switching Miranda's outfit for this. And Garrus. I'm going to save up my points. Okay. Damn Let's go. It. Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Okay, I'm not driving. I think we're good. 
Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Uh oh. Who dis? Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. I'm with Miranda. We need to talk about this. Get lost now. What do you mean Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. Wow. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Dang. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a she baby lied? the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. Oh no, what is Miranda doing? Oh no! Oh, get lost now! <laughs> Have a good one, Jackie! Get lots of good sleeps! Thank you for hanging out today, friend. I appreciate it. Time to do something stupid. Yeah, I think we're gonna kill everyone here is what we need to do. Get lost now! I'm giving you one chance to leave. That's more than most get. Better get out of here. Yala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. Karis? Karis? Are you I lining up word, shots? We unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to- Yeah! <laughs> oh god! We've been spotted. Miranda? Miranda? Combat drone engaged! Where's Miranda? Oh, oh, she's good. Yeah! That one hit! Nice shot! This should slow him down. <laughs> Oops. I had a feeling we were gonna have to kill everyone here, you know? It's fine. It's the name of the game. Taking cover. Ooh. Garris, don't just stand there, hide. Uh, the legend, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. We murder it now. We can't trust anyone. You hate that it's 10 p.m. already. I hate that too, but I am excited for extra uh, sunlight, extra daylight, you know. I like that it doesn't get dark so early, but man, losing an hour of sleep will just, <laughs> it's not good. Hi, Zach. Good to see you too. Uh, Cho, thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good weekend. All right, we've Come been on, spotted. Um, you head. think? Incoming. Here goes. All right, go, go, go. This is the first mission we've taken Miranda on since the start of the game. <laughs> She's not bad. He's very tiny feats, though. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, 
I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father oh. grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. You never gave her age? Why did you take her? We need, I mean, she literally just told us why. We need to get to your sister. What's her next step? <clears throat> Maybe the game is just kill everyone. Yep. More senseless death. <laughs> All right, we're heisting. Are we he We're heisting. Her biotics seem pretty good in a fight. Yeah, she's got some pretty cool moves, I think. Wearing combat heels. It looked like she was wearing little baby child shoes. Hi, Dragoonies. Rescued or kidnapped? Hi, Dragoonies. How are you doing? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Ariana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. Sounds like your friend Niket might be in some trouble. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. Uh oh. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Ariana. We can do it. It's fine. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. Okay, the fact that they're asking us so many times to question Miranda about trusting Niket, if this doesn't end up being Niket betraying her, <laughs> like why do they keep making us ask about this? Hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. Mm -hmm. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Timber Ghost! Sneaky Snake! <laughs> and Rose and Timber Ghost, how could you? I can't believe it. <sighs> can't always trust your heist buddy, by the way. <laughs> Does your father know him? Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. I think you're trusting too easily, Miranda. <clears throat> Choose, I'm sorry, uh huh. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Oh no, revenge! Right. Oh, we got a loading screen? Okay. Wait, what? I don't think we're going this way, but Garrus is very focused on this wall. <laughs> They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Oh no, I'm hacking. Give me the thing! Whew. What are you doing? Mm. Oof. 
Oh my god, my besties keep bumping into me. I can't spot this guy. This is Inyala. Keep the bitch back. The kid is nearing the transport terminal. What is happening? I don't know what that was. Estes, you coming? Some machine gun scan. Can use this. Oh, nice. I just bought an upgrade for submachine gun for a lot of monies, but it's fine. Drone. Oh, God. <clears throat> Oof. Um, for okay. my shields. Are they dead? Are they alive? I can't tell. Enemies oh. in front. I keep missing. Okay, they want us to go that way. Eclipse Merc. It. Oh, more medi gel capacity. Nice. trust Niket. I'm saying no, and if there's, like, nothing that comes out of Niket being not trustworthy, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Enemies keep... in front. Oh, no! <laughs> Holy! Ambushed! Divert everyone except my guard, Niket. I'll handle him and the kid personally. Damn it, I'm not letting her get Oriana. Miranda will get there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <clears throat> the very liberal with the use of the B word right now. <laughs> very. Miranda, hide! Do turns wear socks? Do Asari wear deodorant? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they have some sort of. Hygiene, right? Some semblance. <gasps> Hi, clown baby. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hello. Happy Sunday. 
Uh-oh. They've seen us. Oh no. Saint. Watch for the drone. Very nice. Hmm. Garris, go somewhere. Go do something. <clears throat> Oh, I keep missing. Not that one. <laughs> What's that? Bird, bitch. There's the B word again. We need a medic. Oh, not the drones. Get the drones. Someone get the drones. All right, we need more ammo. We can cut down through the cargo line. Do you wear deodorant daily? Yes, no, Captain Stinky Pits. <laughs> There's the terminal. Okay, let me get some ammo real quick. Element zero, nice. Hope you're having a good weekend. Not gonna be very awkward for chat to do our thing. Wait, what? Oh, the deodorant. <laughs> uh. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding their lockdown. Uh oh. Here we go. Combat seen it. Watch out. Oh my god. Strong. Be careful. Get him. The kid has reached the terminal. He'll switch the family over to our transport. The kid. But I knew it. Did I not know it? I knew it. I knew it. Can't fool me, game. I knew it. Are right, going back this way? <clears throat> Called it. Yep. <laughs> uh, no Maybe one is a hero. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. About Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't the thing go any faster? See, this is kind of what I was expecting from Jacob in his loyalty mission regarding his dad, right? Because Miranda knows this person named Niket and they go way back. But I'm sure she probably hasn't seen him in a long time either, right? Because she hadn't seen her twin in a long time either. But she still has like the utmost faith in this person who is clearly betraying her. You sure about Niket? Did he know about Ariana? Maybe you're right. We'll know when we get there. Niket betrayed betrayal. Betrayal. Did Niket know that you took Ariana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe. No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. 
Betrayal. The on the radio seemed pretty clear. He wouldn't betray me. We'll be at the transport shuttle in a moment and we'll clear this up. She's still in denial. Still in denial. I got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Oh, people arrive. Miri. This should be fun. Immediately guns. We got a runner! <laughs> Niket, you sold me out. What happens now or kill him? <laughs> oh, I wonder which one we're gonna pick. <laughs> oh dear, finish him. <laughs> Listen, listen, I would have made this decision t two hours ago. I can't believe it took this long. Traitor to Lulu Miranda. She is fully in Delulu land right now. So much ruthless. It's all, it's all betrayal today. It's all colored in betrayal. Just in time to witness betrayal. <laughs> We're going to finish it. Fatality. Not many civilians around. <laughs> we can end this here and now. Not before I get some answers. <sighs> Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. You can solve this peacefully? We can't hide Ariana now? How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you'd kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. Dang, it's gonna be terrible when we have to kill him. <laughs> How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought wow. me. Wow! So you just took his money. Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. Wow. Uh, Mad or Till, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good weekend. Niket's all her out. This is brand new information. <laughs> Murder! Did his voice change? I don't know. What a sellout, exactly. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. <laughs> Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch Jeez, off and Miranda's get out of line. here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that Oh outfit? my god! She's ruthless! Even I'm not that ruthless, okay? Even I'm not that ruthless. Wow. Wow. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? Oh boy, <laughs> time to kill. Kat, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in, thank you so much. Hope you're having a good weekend. Money is money. Maximum betrayal. Shots fired, yeah. Uh, and y'all is ruthless, isn't she? Guy down below said she wasn't polite. Yeah, he wasn't kidding. If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> oh, in the stomach! Oh, no! Figuratively speaking. I was tired of talking anyway. Uh-oh. So was I. 
Dang! Yeeted into oblivion! Uh-oh, it's not over. Uh-oh, they're mad. Oh, they're mad. Oh, she's bad. What, she's still alive or what? I thought she was yeeted to her death. No, she's alive. She's very much alive. Oh, no, she's coming. Oh, Lord, she's coming. <laughs> oh, God. Miranda! Wait, hold on. Hold on, Miranda. Get ready to burn! Oh, no. We can't hit the the explosive canister. Yikes! Oh my god! Gareth is down? We'll put them down. Okay, there's Garrus. Miranda, get back up! <laughs> I see them. She's running. Nine, nine. Come on, Holy! She's almost down. We can do this. Did we get her? I think we got her. There could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. Yikes! That was nasty. I can't tell if my team is squishy or if these guys were just really tough. <clears throat> she got yeeted and she somehow survived. <laughs> just watching everyone get... Everyone just dying! It's fine, it's fine. It's okay. Whew. They're just squishy. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna go with, okay? I can't believe Niket sold me out. Mm-hmm. I try to warn you. Thing. You couldn't have live and learn. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. I'm guessing that's one you won't repeat. Why did he make me kill him? He could have run. He could have lied about having the data stored somewhere. He just stood there. The only loose end. He knew what I'd have to do. He felt guilty. He thought you wouldn't do it. Don't blame yourself. Come on. Maybe he didn't think you'd have the nerve to gun him down. No. He knew. All too well. Miranda Quone Taylor Swift now? What? Do we just become besties? Don't blame yourself. Come on. It's fine. She's we're killing her entire crew. I would never. Uh, you, okay, I would never for most of my crew. Zaid can go. He can like. I'm fine with getting rid of him. <laughs> the rest of my crew, I like. <laughs> Did I get all the DLC? I think so. I have Legendary Edition. So if it comes with all the DLCs, then yes. We do have Kasumi and Zaid. Remember when we nuked Ashley? <laughs> it was either her or Kaiden. Okay, I had to choose. I had to. I couldn't save them both. Hi, 97. We can over. Sadly, it is. Yes, yeah, sadly. But we're just hanging out here trying not to think about work. Miranda's a Swifty. She's a true Swifty. Let's get moving. Right. <laughs> Only remember the Normandy for one Ruthless. Yep. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. You won't go talk to her if you say so. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. Okay, let's go. Who is this awkward lady staring at me? What? <laughs>
Okay. Give Zaid another chance. No, zero chances for Zaid. I'm not saving neither of them. <laughs> Saw Dune 2, everything sci-fi. Nice, nice. Did you enjoy Dune 2? Creepy stalker lady. Miranda's sister and her family successfully placed at location redacted. Mother's new job pays well enough to ensure comfort and ease. We'll keep Ariana under observation for her safety only. Miranda Lawson is too valuable to Cerberus and Ariana's well-being is easiest means of procuring loyalty. Miranda remains loyal to Cerberus and now trusts Shepard. Nice. Uh, she got Slam, a biotic body slam that inflicts massive damage. Nice. New outfit for Miranda as well. More submachine gun damage, more medigel capacity. Nice. All right. Okay, we're still here. I wonder if... Uh, okay, I do want to find Liara. Maybe we can hold off on the uh, dossiers, but I do want to find Liara. Oh, that's sweet. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? <laughs> that makes no sense. That's a good point. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians <laughs> do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. Oh my god, I love Turians. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, now that's offensive. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture. But my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Oh. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But Despicable human. What's new? My word. She is very... <laughs> I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have feelings of... She is a lovely... Oh, show. no! <laughs> makes my legs hurt just watching it and my knees are meant to bend that way <laughs> this isn't as bad as i feared it's actually I is it warm in here okay you see that bit there a little divot in her abdomen oh it's god a belly button humans and asari have them and you're gonna be doing shots out of it later oh tonight. no can't be sanitary <laughs> not the point man i can understand why i might find asari attractive but how can they be attracted to humans too? I always look like Salarians. What? <laughs> they look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Salarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Bluturians. Look at the head fringe. Wait. <laughs> you don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't any Turian women on Ilium. Well, I suppose watching just one more <laughs> dance would hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Massive damage. Slam is sounds powerful. Yeah. Hi, Hikaru. How are you doing? Good to see you. The assassin recruitment mission is also. Yeah, there's quite a few quests on this planet. But I wanted to try to complete all of the loyalty missions for my current crewmates before getting the new ones. I don't know. I feel like it's going to help with my anxiety around how many quests I have right now. <laughs> it's Don't good to see you, Ollie. In front of the stripper. <laughs> and Rose, thank you for the hundred bits. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Are you having a good weekend, Ollie? What are we staring? Why are we staring? It's a bachelor party. Yeah, it's completely normal. <laughs> I still don't see why we're here. All right, we got through all the dialogue. It was good. It was good. I'm glad we listened to it. Oh, there's a bartender. It's the closest you guys get. Welcome to Eternity. I'm Athena, sorry, matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? Matriarch, really? Nothing, thanks. Just a drink. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. It does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Centuries? How old are you exactly? Exactly? Hell if I know. What year is it? I am a matriarch, though, if that's what you're wondering. Most matriarchs head back to Thessia, our homeworld, so everyone can listen to their wise counsel. I serve drinks. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for telling me about that. Right. I'm not here for the essay. The Red Bulls. 
They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Okay. So then he says... I need to find Liara. Stop worrying. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Free your slave now. What's going on here? I'm done here. Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this quarry signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Doing great knocking out the loyalty missions. <laughs> Just finished watching. Oh, the Oscars! Al Pacino kind of screwed up the biggest award of the night, but nothing too bad. Oh, was he presenting an award? Oh no. I see. Sorry, I see a thing. They serve vodka and Red Bulls, maybe. All right. Uh. Oh, hold, please. Controller keeps disconnecting lately. All right. Um. Wait. If I bought her, I'll try to help. I'm done here. Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. You get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. I don't buy it. What if I bought her? Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. So slavery is legal on Ilium. Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. Ooh. Use her Red Bull is all. He was presenting the award for best picture, but already had the award out of the envelope walking up to the mic and didn't even read the nominees. Oh no. <laughs> Unlimited money. Not so good at numbers, I guess, then. What if I bought her? If I bought her myself, I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. You okay over there? I'll try to help. Goodbye, I'm done here. I'll try I'll to help. To the synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. I remember seeing Synthetic Insights rap. Was that you? you deserve Here. Somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Oh. Someone whose food you can eat, even. Can I help you with something? Would you like a quarian? The slave broker sent me. No, goodbye. I know a slaver who'd like to sell you the service contract for a quarian programmer. Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. 
We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. So we can't pick this would be good business. We can pick your prejudice. <laughs> oh boy. Hi Nirvana, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Monday? You're a huge Al Pacino fan. I still can't believe he showed up at the Game Awards that one year. Wasn't that crazy? Even the Game Awards and Kratos kept essaying yes. <laughs> you love Al Pacino, but he hasn't done a good movie in one million years, TBH. He was the guy Game Awards, right? Yeah, the surprise guest. It's like your all-time favorite actor, but the man is, he's 83? Honestly, for that old, like, you know, he still has it pretty together. I didn't realize he was that old. He was good in The Irishman when he played Jimmy Hoffa. I heard The Irishman was good. I haven't seen it myself, though. I'm gonna say, you're prejudice. I see what's going on here. This isn't about slaves. You just don't want to hire a quarian. What? But, uh, but. <laughs> Is it because you don't want to feed them or do you just not like the suits? Synthetic Insights has a strict non-discrimination policy. We don't just hire indentured servants. Maybe I'll take this to Ilium's Trade Bureau just to be sure. Ruthless. Wait, let's not do anything crazy. We don't want to waste the Bureau's time. Okay, fine. I'll go drop a contract. Just leave Ilium's bureaucracy out of it. This Quarian had better be good, though. Nice. But, but, but. <laughs> Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. No pro I don't need your thanks. I didn't do it for you. I did it for her. Regardless, a kindness to her is mine to repay. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Okay. All right, I still can't figure out how to get to Liara. Uh, I guess, no. I feel like I'm going in circles. Where is Liara? Come to the fish dog food shack. Tasty fare and skewers are just five credits for a limited time only. Okay, I think I have to go up this way again. All right. Let's do it. Or is it in there? I've already been through here, but I didn't see her. Didn't he just have a baby? Al Pacino? Listen, I know the data is vital to the Carosa family. No, this isn't right. I think I need to go upstairs. <clears throat> and Robert De Niro, Michael Corleone, Tony Montana, iconic roles. Godfather 3 was your favorite movie of the trilogy. I watched um, one of the Godfathers once, but it was a long time ago. I think I need to watch it again. Oh, we haven't been up here. Here we go. Hello, Commander Shepard. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> what are you doing here? Do people respect Liara? Wow. <laughs> it's okay if we ask this because Liara is not here, right? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. Oh, good. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. Nice. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. What do you think her personal goals are? All she did when she was in our crew was talk about the research she spent like the last 50 years doing. You're Liara's assistant. Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. Okay. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> of course, Commander. Up the stairs. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I had already been up here, but I guess I hadn't. Sure, super young girlfriend gave birth. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. 
with my mind. <laughs> what? Shepard, Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. Oh, hugs all around. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Sources, same here. You're making serious threats. I heard what you were saying. Is Google Al Pacino? I've never seen a single movie he's been in. <laughs> Governor of the Universe recognized as the worst of the trilogy by far, and I recognized by true Godfather fans. Oh, I did not know. I did not know. Could I romance in Mass Effect 1? No one, Nirvana. Um, the only person that I think hit on me was Liara, and I turned her down. Someone said Kaiden, like, sort of made a move one time, but I, like, I didn't pick up on anything from him, so I didn't romance anyone in the first one. We are trying to romance Garrus in this one, though, but he keeps, like, having doubts and hesitations and decalibrating and research, so who knows if it's gonna happen. He did have a baby last year. That's crazy. Uh, Ryan Gosling gave one of the best song performances in Oscar history when he sang, I'm just Ken. Oh, my God. Barbie, Barbie movie was so good. Organize one of the oldest fathers at 85. Hi, Lass. You're way late. You blame adulting. No, it's okay. You're just in time. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good weekend. It's so good to see you. Scarecrow with Gene Hackman, too. Very underrated. Time to miss signals in real life, choose. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's very, uh, very, very much me. Just all around, I think. I feel like when it, like for me, in any sort of conversation, it just helps to be direct and to the point, right? And I try to like speak that way too. I just hate when people like beat around the bush. We could be talking about anything. If you're like being around the bush, like skirting around the subject, I'm just gonna miss the point completely. <laughs> just, just be very direct with me. So much research, yeah. Hi, Jaundice, how are you doing? I'm looking very evil today, thank you. Thank you, I try. <laughs> Barbie won like two awards, including Billie Eilish's song. I didn't even know Billie Eilish wrote a song for Barbie, but I really enjoyed the Barbie movie. Uh, same it's here. good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you, well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. How does she have all this information on us? Come with me, or you're well informed. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. <gasps> I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What things? Do you need help? Then give me intel. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. We can do it. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. <laughs> what should I watch first? Godfather movies with 100% of the votes. What were the other options besides Godfather movies? Choose, I like your stream. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> Being a child and having a father old enough to be your grandfather gonna be rough. Old enough to be a great grandfather, Mighty Mar, honestly. You voted Godfather movies, but I suggest skipping three. Paid the bills. Oh boy, this quest? You think you had the Godfather trilogy on your movie shelf? You've never watched it. It's a great time right now. <laughs> other options were The Sopranos and Goodfellas, okay. I don't know much about the other two either. Just telling what's going on. Uh, why do you need my help? I'll see what I can do. I'm too busy for this. I'll see what I can do. I'll help you. I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there. Oh boy, we're about to be Thank you, Omega hackers for a minute here. Great Samara, goodbye. Thane. Oh, this, these must be the other um, dossier people. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. 
I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nasana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. I'm so, okay, now uh, I'm thinking about it, and I wonder how all of this would play out if we did romance Liara in Mass Effect 1, you know? That's enough Thanks questions. For the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How are you? Let's get the Shadow Broker. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. Interesting. You saved me? Thanks for telling me. Why give me to Cerberus? Heat's another great Pacino movie, also with Robert De Niro. Can't go wrong with any Scorsese movies, though. They mentioned the name. Yeah, Thane. Samara, yeah, that one didn't look familiar. The Thane one did. Hmm. If you romance Liara, do you think she talks at you more or less? <laughs> Probably more, right? Uh, had you romance Liara in the first game, but that's up to you. I won't spoil. All right. So you're the one responsible for me ending up with Cerberus. Why? Was I supposed to let my friend die when someone offered a sliver of hope? They brought you back, and now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. We'll get Farron back. He was your friend. Don't get your hopes up. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? She's just leaving! Two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Okay. All right, uh, we talked to Liara. Now... I think we're leaving here. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. I don't know if I know how to leave though. I still wanna do the other loyalty missions that I haven't done yet. I don't think this is the right way. <clears throat> Mind Melt Lady saved us? <laughs> Getting Baron back is part of the- Yeah, I realized that as soon as I picked the option and was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have picked that. Increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? This way? Okay, this place has the most confusing layout. Okay, back to the Normandy. 
That's your waifu from Mass Effect 1. Did you romance her, Sundi? I can't remember what you did. Imagine looking at Shep's face and not expecting to get killed or betrayed or both. <laughs> your waifu because she was your only choice and no other option. Okay, okay. Commander, you've received a new message. New messages? What the heck? From Tombs. What the heck kind of game are you playing, Shepard? You did the buddy act when I had the gun on that Cerberus scientist, telling me you understood. Now I found out you're working for Cerberus? Tests were done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me. They used me as a gosh darn lab rat. And now you're teaming up with them like they're, an, they're any other Merc band? I've got my own Merc team now, Shepard, and I kill any Cerberus team I can find. If I run into you, don't expect any different. Okay. I don't know who that was, but okay. I'm just getting a lot of, like, angry, unhinged emails from random people, and I'm just like, okay, yep, put that in the dump. <laughs> All right. Uh, appreciate the help from Lisbeth Bainim. Bainim? Dear Commander Shepard, I heard about what you did on Ilium, and I wanted to thank you for helping the survivors of what happened at Zoo's Hope. Those people don't have much left, and you dealing with that gosh darn contract helped them a lot. I get sick when I think about what we did to those colonists, what we allowed to happen. Do you feel that way? Do you ever wish you could have avoided killing so many people? We had no choice. I had no choice, but I still wonder. Thank you again. I'm doing what I can. You've helped the survivors get some peace. Sincerely, Elizabeth. Uh-oh. Let's not dwell on that. <clears throat> Back from female camp. <laughs> from Erd Not Dark. Dear human, the clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. I don't remember much of what happened, but the chief scout said you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the Warelaw camp. Thanks. Next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't. <laughs> Unless I go in a blood rage or something. I got to go to the female camp after I recovered, and it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here instead. Erd, not dog. Scout, uh, second class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking early heister. Who's tombs? Good question. Good question. Spam mail has gotten aggressive in the future. <laughs> More like Lizbish. Oh, no. Those huge essays, though, right? All right, let's go talk to, oh my God, the, fi the fish, the fish. Do not let me forget to feed the fish. Guys, I bought new fish. We cannot let these fish die. <gasps> There's a green one in there too. Oh, cute. Okay. Um, Hammy. Looking cute as always. Oh, my new ship, my ship models too. It looks like I'm just missing two from my collection. All right, let's go talk to Miranda. <clears throat> the fish! Edie already plotting, you know she is. Can't lose these fish, no, no, we cannot. I need these fish to survive. Can't let this fish die, who's we? <laughs> Hi, Power Slight. How are you doing? Happy Sunday. It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good weekend. Thanks again. What Shepherd. happened to her eyebrow? Taking the time to help me with my oh, sister. Oh, she's wearing goggles. Oh, okay. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. <laughs> okay. I was like, what happened to her eyebrow? And you proved yourself trustworthy. Unlike Niket. I'm glad I got to take him out myself. What about Ariana? You don't believe that. I'm glad I could help. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she'll never know me. Which is for the best. No chance of me putting her in danger. You could talk to her? What do you think of her? What's your impression of her? Do you think she's happy? I don't know. Even if I talked with her, I doubt I'd know. I'm too close to her. She's genetically identical to me. She is me for all intents and purposes. I can't look at her life and judge it. I just hope hers is better than mine was. You know where she is. You can get in touch if you change your mind. It would be a mistake. I'd be risking her safety for my own selfish reasons. No better than my father. It was never a temptation until I saw her. I'll just have to keep my distance. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. 
Well, but good. Thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again, thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Oh, <gasps> should we talk to Garrus? Do you think he's ready? I feel like he's not ready. Should we check, though? Is it for surviving in spite of choosing? <laughs> It's a very, uh, very determined fish. Gym models fed and fish dusted, all sorted. <laughs> Miranda dripping black. Yeah, I do like that outfit. Which Shepard, fish is best? All of them. Me for something. Have you got a minute? Definitely. Okay, he's not ready. Well, he wants to do more research. We're crazy for even considering. Garris, how steam. long is this gonna take? I try it with you. On a few moments that are just for us. Fish heads, fish heads are Rolly Polly. Fish heads, fish heads, fish heads eat them up. Yum. <laughs> Dan, thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> hamster fish is best fish. I'm waiting for that hamster to do something crazy. Okay. I want that too, Garris. Glad to hear it. I'll do some uh, research and figure out how to, you know. Okay, that sounded bad. Bye, Garrus. One of these days. You go on a date with uh, Yeoman Kelly to make sure your fish don't die again? I don't think I want to. <laughs> Partially because for the longest time I thought her name was Yeoman. <laughs> Yeah, I can't look at her in the face. All right, we still need to do Jack's loyalty mission and Zaid. Um, and then we have a lot of side quests to do. Maybe we'll spend like, we'll dedicate one stream to just doing uh, side quests. Except for Arrival, you said not, you guys said not to do that one. Uh, But the rest of them, I think we can maybe do. Okay, Jack and Zaid. Which one should we do next? What are we thinking? <clears throat> Did I feed the hamster? No, there's no option to feed the hamster. If there is, I haven't seen it and the hamster is starving. <laughs> Solid five hours today. We got one more hour. We got one more hour. So, uh, Sundays are six hours. Side quest Sunday? Well, today's a Sunday. We didn't do the side quest. Number two is keep arrival. After you beat Mass Effect 2, it's important. Okay. Okay, yeah. You guys just give me a heads up on any of the uh, quests that I should not do right now. I remember you guys saying that about arrival. But if there's any other ones that I shouldn't do, uh, let me know. My plan is to finish out the loyalty missions for Jack and Zaid and then do the, the new dossiers. The three new dossiers. Zaid's more interesting. I also would wait on Shadow Broker. Blair the Shadow Broker? Okay, yeah, I won't do that one either. Okay. Oh, we've done so many quests. Um, okay, we can do Zaid's. I hate him though. Travel to Zoria. <clears throat> oh, have a good night, Winter. Get lots of good sleeps, friend. Thank you for hanging out today. I appreciate it. All right, fuel depot. Buy more probes. And then jump on the mass relay. Um... I found the Jack one. Where's the Zaid one? Oh, here it is. Help Zaid. We are Shadow Broker and Arrival last. Did I already mess up then? Because we talked to Liara. Alright, time for more scanning. 
It's always palladium. That's the one I don't need. Mm, this planet has poor scanner results anyway. Grab that. <clears throat> e zero looks like it's pretty rare. Oh, element zero. It seems that way, but um, the reason I don't have a lot more is because I had a good amount at one point, and then we kept coming across planets that had it, and I wasn't harvesting it. Of course, now that I need it, we can't find it. It's like the game knows. It knows which ones I need, and it just like refuses to give those to me. This one's also poor. All right, nothing here either. Always that way, right? Tiny planet! Oh, this one's rich, let's go. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. We're pretty good on iridium now, too. We just need platinum and element zero. Probe launched. Lots of iridium here. Probe launched. Okay. <clears throat> it's extremely rare. Classic conundrum. In the universe, they have a shortened name for element zero. It's Ezo. Have a good winter, Mercos. Get lots of good sleeps, friends. See you on Tuesday. This one's poor, too. I wish I would have jotted down which planet had a lot of element zero, because of course now I don't remember. But there was a planet that, like, all it had was element zero. Probe away. Okay. I feel like I don't even want to bother with the poor quality scan planets. This one is good. Away. All right, not much else. <clears throat> Did that say super earth? A so called super earth. Home to organic life, but is nevertheless uninhabitable for the near future. Currently in an ice age. Ooh. I would be the first to die in an ice age, okay? <laughs> when it's like below 60 degrees, I'm like, hypothermia! 
Oh, I should have bought more uh, probes before I left. Maybe there'll be more here, though. There's not more here. It's okay. Doesn't look like a lot of planets. Oh, it's so purple. This one's also poor. Poor results. Mm, not very good. Okay, nope. <gasps> Maurice, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, so much democracy there, right? Super. Wait, no, it's saying there's four planets here. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Some of these planets are just like a speck. This one's rich, though. Probe away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Launching probe. Praise the democracy. Are all of you playing Helldivers? Is that why? <laughs> Launched. You're stocking up on the platinum. Oh, we still haven't found any element zero. It's pretty crazy. Why not? Probe launched. You gotta love the double peak. Okay. This one. Another tiny one. This one also rich. Probe okay. Launched. <laughs> yup. <laughs> All of you, yes. This planet looks like a styrofoam ball. Away. I think we're good here. <clears throat> you haven't been playing, but you suppose you support the cause. And the last one. Oh, it's so green. Mud, sweat, and spores is how Blue Sun's mercenaries characterize the planet that gave birth to their home office. Okay. Sounds very pleasant. All right, so we have to bring Stinky Zaid, of course. What does he even have? Concussive shot is good. Disruptor ammo, Inferno grenade. Uh, he's got, like, Garrus's loadout, I think. Let's bring... I think we haven't brought Jack in a while. Let's bring Jack. Actually, no, we're going to bring Jack for the next loyalty mission. Let's bring... Let's bring Kasumi. I'm saving up my point. He has 20 points. Oh my goodness. Um, let's go with... Concussive shot. This one. Disruptor ammo. Okay. I don't know. Let's give him that one. I forgot to get my SMG upgrades in, I think. <clears throat> I just realized he has two different colored eyes.
Liberate the refinery. Find the entrance to the refinery and liberate the workers base. from the blue sun. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. All right, Zaid, I got you. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. You keep close. Dead bodies, uh oh. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Go, go, go. Heck diver is so good. Oh, oh, whoa. What was that critter? You see that? Hi, Virgil. How are you doing? Good to see you, too. Hello. Happy. Uh, oh, critter. That is creepy. Happy Sunday. <laughs> are these the monkeys? Are these the monkeys from Mass Effect 1? Do you remember that monkey mission? Are these the same monkeys? Oh, jeez. Hi, Virgil. We forgive you. <laughs> More like Zaid. You love him? Why is eyeball so big? All right, monkey friend, you better take cover. Oh, oh, more monkey friend. Okay. Well, so many monkeys. What? Are the monkeys the baddies? Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. Oh, they know. They see us. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Incoming. Monkey hide. Oh. Dark. Barring an impact. Nice, cause you me. Uh oh. Boom. You hiding behind the plants, my dude? Zaid, what in the world? What kind of gun are you using? Oh, it's very dark here. Uh oh. I got him, we're good. Oh, PDA. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> They're called Pijacks? Am I saying that right? Pijacks? If anyone is the baddies here, I'm sure it's us. <laughs> what do you mean? We would never, ever. Definitely the same monkeys. They look so similar. <gasps> Hi, Growl. How are you doing? Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Yes, hit us with the bird fact, please. Hello, hello. Bridge control. Okay. This is Commander Santiago. If any of you retreat while the intruders are still alive, I'll kill you myself. I'll kill you. Today's bird fact, formidable monikers. The greater and lesser roadrunners are the only species of roadrunners in North America. Expert hunters, they are also called the snake killer, chaparral, rooster, and ground cuckoo. 
Oh, Growl, thank you so much for the 22 month resub. 22 months in a row. Welcome back for another month and thank you for that bird fact. It's crazy, we were talking about snakes earlier today. Thank you so much, Growl. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back for another month. Hi, Outplayed, how are you doing? Oh, playing Helldivers too, very nice. We were just talking about that too. <laughs> Slayer of Danger Noodles. I want to see a Roadrunner. Did any of you watch um, the Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote cartoons growing up? I loved Roadrunner. I loved Roadrunner so much. You put rooster emoji because it's technically, technically the other word for rooster. Oh. And you didn't want to DDS that. No worries. No worries. I, w I wouldn't have known what that was. Yeah. They out here eating roosters though. And ground cuckoo. Um... You know this guy, Vito sounds dangerous. Wasn't there a Roadrunner movie that just got canceled like recently? I is it about the cartoon or is it something else? You felt bad for Wile E. Coyote as well as Tom from Tom and Jerry TVH. I was listening to a conversation recently about Tom and Jerry and there's a lot of sympathy for Tom. And I never felt that way watching the cartoons. I think I was like in well, I don't know. I was going to say the majority, but maybe maybe more people felt bad for Tom. I never really felt bad for Tom, but I think that's because that's how the cartoon is like portrayed to make you like think it's funny or like that Tom deserves it or something. I don't know, but I never really felt that way. I totally understand where people are coming from though, because if I had a mouse terrorizing me, yeah, I would feel bad for me too. <laughs> How dare they cancel my burb? Jerry's sometimes just a little A55 hold to him. Oh, it's true. It's true. Some of the things Jerry did was just very mean. Tom just minding his own business, right? In the episodes where Tom is trying to like catch Jerry or like kill him or whatever, I get it. But I feel like sometimes like Tom's just trying to take a nap and then Jerry's over here like, oh no, you don't. <laughs> You beat me, Glosh, tonight. Congratulations, Growl. How'd it go? You cheese phase two roll bad. Oh, I don't even blame you. Mikolaj is just a nightmare. I think I learned how to do the fight one time. Have totally forgotten. I think I learned it for BL4, but I've totally forgotten it since. And I would just be running around like a maniac trying to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> don't ever feel bad for cheesing Mikolaj. That's all I have to say. Never felt bad for Tom. You root for Jerry. Coyote vs. Agme movie apparently uh, finished production, but canceled and won't see the movie theaters. That's so sad. I love watching the Acme cartoons. Jerry just doesn't let up. <laughs> like, nothing, if you think about it, though, like, nothing bad ever happened to Jerry, right? He was always fine. Tom, on the other hand, had, had a lot of pain come into him. Cos, or some say Cosm. <laughs> You want to be me, Galosh, too, Cindy. There's hope, right? Ghost of Tsushima coming to PC. It's only a matter of time before Bloodborne follows suit. Me, Galosh is just a nightmare. Is that a pun? <laughs> you always, did you did you like his dialogue growl where he's like, oh, majestic? <laughs> you always want Wile E. Coyote to catch Roadrunner. My mom was a huge Looney Tunes fan too. Um, I remember that there was like a Warner Brothers store uh, near where I was growing up and we went there all the time. I think my mom's favorite was Tweety, the little yellow bird. But yeah, it's so much like Looney Tunes, Acme uh, stuff in my house growing up. <laughs> You'll never get to beat me, Galash. One of these days. Okay, I'm holding out hope for you guys. You're so confused in that fight, just running around aimlessly. That's pretty much what that fight is, right? Found out he just keeps jumping out of the mirror when you shoot him, so you, uh, you kept shooting him. I There's still parts of the fight that I don't understand. Like, there's definitely a, a path to take that is the most efficient, but if you mess that up, like, I don't know how you fix it, right? I think very occasionally Tom would win, or they team up. I don't know if I've seen an episode like that. It must have been, like, a rare occasion thing. Bloodborne Remaster 2 and PC per coming next year. <laughs> Major copium drug. Is it me the Dark Souls boss that constantly runs away from you all over the place? Bloodborne, yeah. Uh, constantly runs away from you all over the place. Yes, yep, that's Mikolash. With a cage on his head, yes. Uh, God, the lore in Bloodborne just so good. Sound Sounds dangerous. Like he needs to get shot. <laughs> Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah. We have a past. You founded the Blue Suns 20 years? Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. 
Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists. I, I just realized I brought the two DLC characters with me. Again, unintentionally, but I just realized, like, wait, Kasumi is also a DLC character. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I close my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target. All right, he's got a I major vendetta. Gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. That is crazy that he survived. We better get moving. <clears throat> You're on that boss next? Very Lovecraftian, love the vibe in that game, yeah. Uh-oh. Anything that's got aliens and like sleep kind of related stuff, sleep and dreams, I'm all for it. <laughs> You say very spoiler free on Bloodborne minus some of the random boss names you've heard here. Don't know anything else about it. Good, good. Hopefully you get to experience it spoiler free one of these days, Anne Rose. You remember the gruesome Happy Tree Friends cartoons? I love those cartoons. It sounds familiar, Lumen, but I can't like envision any of it. Happy Tree Friends. It sounds so familiar. But I can't picture it at all. There was going on, but looking at Zaid's face, I can tell we both hate him. <laughs> You're your Hargul Chapel now as we speak. Very nice. Oh, Bloodborne's so good. I really want to replay Bloodborne. I do also wish they would port it. I mean, I, I have a PS4 I can play it on, but I do wish they would port it to PC already. Wish they would have made some more sympathetic Batarians. Always felt like the most unrealistically homogenous species in the game. <clears throat> Don't look it up on stream? Oh, the Happy Tree Friends? Oh, no. Wait, I, I like don't, I can't, I can't picture it. Guy named Boob painting happy trees all over the place? Oh, Bob. <laughs> Damn. That autocorrect. I don't remember. Boob Bruce. I'm ready to kill people. This is the only thing that me and Zayed have in common. We just want to ruthlessly kill people. Oh, good palladium. I needed more of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hilarious, but graphic. Okay. Is this something that kids watched? Should kids have been watching this? Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Veto. Don't be Edo. stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog. Wow. You are. He's uh, full of yeah. it, isn't he? What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. This game loves setting people on fire, huh? Oh, you hit, you can't even it's aim and can't then fire. <laughs> this game loves that. Here we go. What the hell are you doing? Is he trying to blow this whole place up? Uh oh. Okay. Opening the gate. That was unnecessary. Explain yourself. Warn me next time. <laughs> next time you're going to blow something up. I want to know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. We came to save these people. We'll talk about this later. You do what I tell you. See, I don't care about pissing off Saeed. I don't want to piss off the rest of my crewmates, but I don't care about pissing off Saeed. Uh... Boo Bruce, that's him. <laughs> the hand type what they want to see. You can only imagine it's aged poorly. No kids should not watch Happy Tree Friends. It sounds like a show for kids, though. Uh, 
kids should not watch that. I would not. But I feel like I remember hearing about that from my childhood. Maybe maybe it's something else that I'm thinking of though. Cuz I don't I don't remember watching like graphic Is it even a cartoon? Graphic cartoons or anything? You do what I tell you. This is my mission. Remember that. You talking back to me? Vito Santiago. You want my help on your mission? You better make damn sure that man dies today. Keep to the mission or else. We'll talk about this later if that's what you need. You want him dead, then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. Dang, he's angry. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh no. Down you go. Wow, we are strong. Okay. Things are just falling out of the sky now. It's fine. Good. More palladium. Just what I needed. Oh, we got a runner. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valve to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! <sighs> We're gonna have to kill everyone, aren't we? <laughs> You're gonna have to let everyone die, aren't we? Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You suggest we leave them? You must really want him dead. How much time do we have? Vito's wounded. How fast can he be? Vito's smart. We stop to help these people, and he'll use this time to get away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Forget loyalty, we save them. Zaid's right, Vito must die. I wanna save them. I wanna say heck Zaid and save them, but gosh darn it. <laughs> this had to be the renegade option. We should not have been watching it, but we were very much a middle school kind of thing. God, is that why middle school was such a weird time? <laughs> a lot of people got like horrific scars. We've seen things. Seems like there's a lot of opportunities to get horrific scars in this world, yep. Happy Tree Friends is crazy. See, all of you knew about this, and you speak of it as if it's like from a long time ago, AKA when we were little. <laughs> so which one is it? Do you know how, happy tree, how old Happy Tree Friends was? I guess I found it late. Definitely watching those way too young. Literally anyone, please help us. Choose, guess who to kill everyone. <laughs> Hi, Impaler, how are you doing? Good to see you, happy Sunday. Never knew Happy Tree Friends was like an actual show. I only ever saw it on early YouTube and assumed that's where it originated. Like 20 years old now? It was 14 years ago for you? Yeah, that's a long time ago. All right. Moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. Gotta get Vito. This poor guy, no! man. Help! No! No! Oof. Plus 15 renegade, oh dear. <laughs> I'll take you out with me. That looks painful. Oh, going dark. Look out. You can't get there. Sit down. <laughs> wow. What are you shooting? Okay. Uh oh. Thank you. Uh, lots of credits. We need that because I'm poor now. I'll take it. Assault rifle damage. What is happening? It's chaos. Are y'all heisting? I'm joining. You're watching it on like E Bombs World or Newgrounds or something, so probably 20 years. Wow, those sites, man. 
<laughs> the names, the nostalgia. Uh, great, now it's rigged. I would never rig it, you guys. I would never. It's only rigged when other people rig it, okay? I would never rig it. Oh my god, it's, sh oh my god, it's shaky. Behind these men and come fight me. Watch it. <laughs> the flying bodies. I doubt. No, my God, I keep missing right above his shoulder. More palladium. Was this a weapon? This might be useful. Firestorm acquired. The flying squad members can use this weapon. Me? Only me? It's a heavy weapon. Interesting. I like the particle beam too much, though. Look right. Ooh, no. I don't want this gun, no. It's like a flamethrower. I'm switching back to the... I mean, I don't know if the particle beam is really going to help us here, but I'm switching back to it. Is this the way forward? Oh, shoot. I should have gone the other way first. Just ragdoll. Nope, not done yet. too late. Wasted. Why did you guys stop shooting? Y'all shoot! As good a place as any. Firing an impact shot! It's shaking. Boom. That had to hurt. Why is this thing spewing fire at us? On our right. There's the target. Down you go. Oh, nice. 
Oh, not good. Oh. The fire, the fire is out of control! Oh my god, the fire. The fire, the fire, oh my god! Okay, someone's down. Zaid is down. Not like this, dude, not like this. Am I invisible or something? Because of me, what are you doing? Get ready. Oh ah. my god! No, no. Okay, you have shields. Overload. This will put him down. Okay. <laughs> we need flashbang. Let's try the flashbang. Was a baddie. Various industrial bits. Okay. I think I gotta go this way. It's kind of like a maze. Did we decide we like Zaid? No, I still hate him. Uh, we just have to do his loyalty mission. Uh, let me go this way. Is that where I came from, though? Hold on, let me go see what's over here. This fire thing is terrifying, though. Vasti's trolling. Hey, why is my fish tank empty? I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing here. <clears> okay. <throat> Gotta find a publisher. Should I ask Fing for help? Nice! Oh! And him! Zaid, please! You know, it was nothing personal, just. I swear. In the leg! Oof! It was 20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Zaid, please! I'm gonna <laughs> die here, man! <laughs> Do something! Try, you son of a bitch. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Elspel Ashland Refinery at Anzoria is destroyed. All personnel lost. Whoops. With Vito dead, Zaid can focus his full attention on the mission. He's unlocked Inferno Grenade. Yep. Loves that move. And a new outfit. And we got a new heavy weapon that I think is like a flamethrower. Uh, suppresses the regenerative capabilities of Vorcha and Krogan, effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. Short range. And assault rifle damage. Nice. <laughs> Going to the pet store, oh boy. He is a baddie, it's true. It's true. <clears throat> That's messed up. Cool guys never look at explosions. 
but they look so cool. <laughs> I guess I'm not a cool guy. No new messages. Oh my god, the fish. The fish. Go feed the fish. Yo, I need you to re remind me every time. Can say would have done anything different. Part of me wanted to stop and save the people to make Zaid angry. <laughs> But I had to go with the renegade option, and that's the easy one to make Zaid happy, right? Space hamster still kicking it. All personnel lost. What else is new? I'd be more surprised if some survived. Let's go talk to Zaid. I don't know if he's going to have anything new for us. <clears throat> Roofless? The guy shot him in the head. Uh, yeah. Oh, oops. Wrong place. He deserved it, to be honest. War crimes. <laughs> See, I fed them. I fed the fish. All right. What do you have for us? Back for more. Oh, so he doesn't have anything Tough to say to us. On the horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little. I couldn't remember if Kasumi had more dialogue for us, but I guess not. Girl woke up. Fought her way out. Got picked up by my band well on the way to Omega. <laughs> cool story, bro. Should have had no chance on her. He's still going. <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk to Garrus. I know he's not ready. I know he's still doing research, okay? I know. Alright, the last one that we have for loyalty quest is Jax. Then we can move on to the other dossiers. Let's go to Jax. Did you know you were still playing? Yes! You missed a proper Zaid ending mission. <laughs> Sundays I stream for six hours. On Tuesdays and Thursdays we stream for five hours. All right, we want mass relay. The firewalker thing. I thought I did the Firewalker mission. I may be misremembering. Help, Jack. Lots of planets here, wow. Rich! Probe launched. I guess we could get lots Probe of platinum. Play. Trying to research them nards, am I right? <laughs> always the VOD, that's true, there's always the VOD. I'm also planning to export all of the uh, Mass Effect 2 VODs to YouTube. I think the last one just went up uh, for Mass Effect 1, so I gotta get on the twos. <clears throat> Tonight's dream for 12 hours? No. You know what is coming up, though. Good old partner anniversary. <laughs> Which last year we did a 12 hour stream for. And I actually felt pretty good through the whole thing. Launching the next probe. day it hit me. And I was exhausted, but. Maybe we'll do another 12-hour uh, stream this year for the Go partner launch. anniversary. You'll never forget the 24-hour stream. There is no 24-hour stream. No way. I would not be able to at all. Launched. There's several Firewalker missions? Okay, so maybe I did one and then there's more now. I don't know. <clears throat> Surprise 12-hour stream. Mm -mm. <laughs> the most I've streamed out of stubbornness, I think, was like 7 hours. Yeah, past that's too much. I did Overlord, which uses the same vehicle. Oh, okay, okay. Gonna stream for 12 hours for the next part anniversary. I heard her say it. <laughs> It'd be fun. I gotta start planning for it, though. I've just been so busy. Iridium, why not? away. <clears throat> Still haven't found any Element Zero today.
Nothing. Uh, you read you read the text of the Firewalker mission last stream. Okay, maybe that's why. <laughs> Getting them all confused. Someone said you to overlord the same vehicle. When is that? Um, party anniversary is near the start of May. Yeah, coming up somewhat soon. Party anniversary streams are great. She always tells us great jokes. Like I was worried no one was gonna <laughs> it's gonna show up. So not only did so many of you showed up, but so many of you stayed the entire twelve hours. I was shocked because most of it was me like just chatting with you guys and making little planty leaves for everyone because I underestimated how many planty leaves I was gonna have to make. <laughs> it was just like a planty leaf making stream. We should do like last time names on planties for donations. <laughs> it's gonna be me making planties again, I guess. Promise I'll donate tens of bits. No, no. Remember uh, that part anniversary day? It was the day your uncle at Nintendo gave you <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom to play. I was doing the Archangel Archangel mission on YouTube and Garrus is saying, come see me. While well, being shot at, what a bug, that's amazing. You beat Mass Effect 3 on Friday night? Already, Dark Knight, that was so fast. You're already at the end of Mass Effect 1? <laughs> You're already at the end of Mass Effect 1 again? I went almost full Paragon for an achievement. Guess which D-bag council members still aren't going to live to see Mass Effect 2, I love it. So many plans for the last 12 hour stream, and then we just we did just chatting for like three entire hours. Yeah, <laughs> all the plans out the window. We saw Prison Lord choose that day too. I still, oh, I the pack of tattoos that I bought came with so many tattoos that I still have all of them, they've just been sitting in my drawer. Yeah, <laughs> we were empty husk by the end of the stream, but it was worth it. <laughs> The planty jungle that eventually enveloped the stream. Yep. PS5 fund about to fill up. Red Penguin, thank you for the bit. Poor preparation fund. Thank you, Red Penguin. Remember Prison Lord Choose? Hi, Adam. Good to see you. Yep. That was the day of Prison Lord Choose. You forgot Prison Lord Choose. <laughs> what a day. All right, lots of palladium again. That's all there is. Hmm. Sundi, thank you for the bit. Part of our preparation fund. <laughs> Chum, thank you for the bit as well. For a McChicken meal, thank you. I love McChickens. Gonna be put to good use. <clears throat> Morty might have something interesting for me. Oh, you think so? Okay. Um... I don't know if there's a way for me to get back on the ship to talk I to people. I heard someone say PS5 stream. No, Dan. Dan, thank you so much for the 300 oh, bits. I appreciate it. No PS5 stream. <laughs> but thank you so much, Dan. All right, thank you for the bit, chicken. <laughs> I love chicken. All right, I think we got everything here. This one. I haven't had any anomalies lately. No anomalies detected. This one's poor too. Uh, and Rose, thank you for the bit, Chimkin. Chum, thank you for the bit as well. Look at all these chicken. Chicken? Chicken. <laughs> Snacko stream still on the table. No Snacko stream. <laughs> the chaos has started already. When is it ever not chaos with you guys? You guys are the epitome of chaos. I thought we've already established this. All right, nothing here. Let's go to the help jack planet. All right, we're landing. <laughs> With a lisp? There's not even an S in that word. <laughs> I haven't seen the vine, no. I, also the fact that you said vine, <laughs> which like, is vine even a thing still or is it completely defunct? I thought TikTok took over vine. 
I'm also not on TikTok, so I don't know. I'm not sure. Bonkin Agent of Chaos, it's all of you. The TH is for S. Oh, oh, I see. Chickenth. Chickenth? <laughs> you miss Vine? Heck, TikTok, bro, I'm a Vine stand only. Is Vine still a thing? All right, we have to bring Jack with us. This is the Jack uh, loyalty mission. And let's see, what was Jack again? Shockwave pull. New pistol shotgun. I kind of want to bring Garrus again. I love Garrus. All right. Oh, we have four points now. We can level up cryo ammo, incinery. Okay, let's do cryo because the whole squad can get it. You only have two. You have four. Shockwave. Your shockwave power obliterates everything over long distance. Your shockwave now has a wide impact radius and a broad strip in front of you. I'm actually going to go heavy shockwave. Because improved, it has to be close range. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but heavy might be a good idea. Okay. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Uh -oh. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Settle down, we're going in. <clears throat> no PS5 stream. <laughs> Still no PS5. Vine is dead? It was dead before TikTok even became a thing. I thought it was dead, but I wasn't sure. I feel like, cause I feel like Snapchat also kind of died at one point, but then it came back and now I feel like it's it's dead again. But Snapchat's been through like a roller coaster of popularity, but not forgotten. Vine collapsed, it was mismanaged. There was a whole video about it, wow. You're pretty sure? That's said what I said. <laughs> Pookie the scoop scoop diddy whoop whoop the scoop the poop poop the scoop the scoop the whoop whoop the scoop whoop poop poop diddy whoop scoop poop poop scoop diddy whoop whoop diddy scoop whoop diddy scoop poop poop John thank you for the hundred bits these bars thank you Chom I appreciate it Snapchat dead TikTok gonna get banned and I'm moving out the U S when it does. Snapchat's still alive, right? I'm pretty sure it still is. Cindy destroyed Vine by watching too many anime vines. It was only around for four years, shut down at the start of- Oh, 2017, that was so long ago. When we start a mission, we finish it. Yeah, okay. Let's get on the ground. On the ground. Snapchat yet lives. I think some people still use Snapchat. It is pouring here. Torrential downpour. Yikes. Oh my god, it's actually storming like crazy. Alright, I think we're gonna actually call it here. Let me save.